Did you go back? Nah, I didn't go back. Oh. I've been working. What? So? The heart wants what it wants, man. You gotta feed the need, baby. She'll mm. live without me. I, well, she's done so, so far. <laughs> through all these cabbage tattoos, stretch marks, and... You the know, beard? the one random night the with one. Nubsy. That's probably my second time she's I'm She's like there. 51, so yeah, she's, she's 37. She, I think she'll be fine. She can take D like a champion. Of course she can. <laughs> And it is Sunday, February 11th, 2018. This is the Bulldog SJ Podcast. You wouldn't know, though. I am your, <laughs> your host, the King of Village, Bulldog Maliko. Joined, <laughs> joined <laughs> by Dirt Nap Dave. Hello. And uh-huh. Nubsy Slow. So, boy, boy. Oh, I love that shit. <laughs> you knew exactly what was getting ready to happen. He had no clue. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. When I started the I show. Know. Yeah. 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 He just he never, he's always oblivious. Every time yeah, it is Sunday, and he's yeah. like, God damn it. Yeah, huh? it messes up my ring, my tone, huh? my fucking fade back. You, wait, <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> We're doing a show. <laughs> Who said? I thought we were just here to chat and fucking sing lullabies. Singing lullabies. <sighs> so, how was your week? That was good. Dude. Was good. Okay, so first, I want to ask okay. you. How did the meeting with the parents go? It went well. It went really good. Everybody got along really well. Um, Cassie prepared beef with broccoli and some rice. Mm, sounds good. And my mom brought over an apple pie, some buffalo chicken dip, and some wings. Okay. And uh, and we had plenty of refreshments. It yeah. was they were great. Everybody was just cordial to each other. Everybody was nervous because well, it's a yeah. formal thing. And it, but it was. But everybody relaxed by the end of the night. My dad wore his boots the whole time. It nice. was awesome. Yeah. Do you want Cassie to doesn't really wear. She doesn't wear shoes in the house. I don't. But dad really. didn't. Dad didn't pick up on that, <laughs> and so he just kept his boots on because you know, that's what he does. He wears his boots, and he's awesome. So, nice. yeah. Um, oh, my dad's a trip. He's just he's a 25 year older version of me, man. It's just all the vanity and the ignorance and the goofiness and yeah, just all of it. It's just a hillbillier version. <laughs> hillbillier <laughs> version with a touch of with a touch of Chicago in there. Just dashed in like the bad side of Chicago though. Not like six corners, you know. Not not the not the. Yeah, the old school Chicago too, you know. Leroy right. Brown. They love that fucking song. That's a good song. I like my it. mom my mom has a cassette tape. Like when cassette tapes were Jim Croce. First, like the third cassette tape ever. She got it and could record onto it and there's a she recorded her and her sisters singing Bad Bad Leroy Brown, Baddest Man in the Whole Damn Town so they could cuss and yeah. they were cool as hell because it was 74 or whatever the <laughs> hell it was and she cussed on tape so awesome so cool <laughs> but they met they well they were my mom's nervous she's she she's she's a little you know at first but then she ended up telling a story of uh about a neighbor coming and approaching my dad on the porch and asking him out to dinner well she was a rather um a rather uh, masculine rotund. looking. No, I don't oh. want to say rotund. We don't have to go into size. Yeah, probably. But um, she looked. She, I think her beard was probably as On awesome as mine. yours. Yeah, and she <laughs> she asked him to dinner, and it freaked him out. And my mom, even though my mom was living there and all that stuff, she didn't. The lady didn't <clears> even <throat> know because my mom never goes outside, so she's nervous around. She doesn't go, and she's not social anxiety. Social, yeah, yeah. she's not a very social lady, and so oh, <laughs> she, man. she's like, yeah, but your dad, that's, she's like, that's what you get. See, that's why I don't sit out there on the porch. And my dad, she's like, that's you sit there on your robe and your balls flopping out. You're gonna. <laughs> she says this in front of the group, and so I was like, oh, cool, she likes him. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's the, that's the tell. Oh, okay, cool. She likes him. You're she, gonna give up some personal info. Yeah, she yeah talks you're about comfortable. His, okay. Yeah, she talks about his, him wearing his robe and his balls <laughs> flopping out. Oh, and so, so that's why he gets hit on by the neighbors. <laughs> I see. I see your sack over there. I just wanted to say hi. How you doing? Oh, you, you doing? having a sack lunch today? Oh, she's just like I know. <laughs> she. She was like this. She was just promoting the beard. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Ooh. Let's go talk to this guy. Barnum and Bailey called me a couple days ago. That's impressive. That's what she said. Oh. Okay, I'm following. 
Okay, good job. So yeah, that was. And so, then we watched the game, and it was an awesome game. So we were really okay. enthralled. We we kept in, you know, we kept in it the whole time. Fucking Eagles, man! I, I didn't Thank watch. You. <laughs> I didn't watch the last ten minutes of the game, but well, cause man, I got busy. Yeah, I got busy. I was going to bed. I had to be up. There was eight o'clock meeting. You know, I had stuff I had to take care of before bed. What time you go to bed? Right. Early, because yeah. I have to be up. At what time? Five. Okay, what time you go to bed? Nine? That's what? Crazy. Ten? Get the fuck out of here. Nine, get, or ten o'clock. I get, up, I get up at six o'clock. I go to bed about midnight one. Good oh. for you. I get plenty of I sleep. Can, I, I, there's no way I can Boom. sleep eight hours. I, this is going to get a lot of rest, man. It's going to get rest. No. <laughs> fucking you idiot. The, you it's proven you only need like... You see the vein? You see the vein? Yeah. Ain't it's even so veiny. So, I ain't even got a, a pump right now. Fucking gains and pain. Yeah! Dude, it's so awesome. It's so awesome when you see a new one pop. You get going in the mirror really good, and you see a new vein pop up, yeah. and then you pass out, and when you wake back up, it's like, awesome! I'm just kidding. I don't really pass out, pass out when I'm I doing it. I get hype when I'm doing deadlifts, and I see that chest muscle flex. I'm like, damn, ladies love me. Are your shoulders hunched forward? When you're and of course, that, everybody oh, okay. watching the video will see that Nubsy didn't follow suit. With the uh, memo to wear the Villain Club shirts today. Way to go, Num Nuts. I'm an outlaw. <laughs> it's too sweet. It's okay. <laughs> Boom. And I, didn't even, I hit the mic, but I didn't even make any noise. It's pretty See? funny. So I'm I was, a champion. I was wearing, you know, wearing my Villain Club shirt, and all of a sudden we get a video messenger <laughs> chat from Dirt Nap over here. <laughs> <laughs> letting us behind. know that he's on the way and as soon as he pops on the screen I see his Villa Club shirt I was like oh shit alright this, this is gonna be one of those well days. you told me I remember you well, telling that's me that's embarrassing yeah I remember you telling me about acquiring the shirt last yeah, week yeah cause I wore my Bullet Club last week and so I was yeah. like yep he's he's gonna bust it out for the show I'm gonna, and I, I was in a hurry to get changed because I stayed the night with Cassie last night. And then we took her grandma out to breakfast this morning because it was her birthday. And then getting back and taking care of business and then getting back to the house to change and stuff. I was like, you know, I like to wear something different. And, and I was, you know what? I saw it. I saw the shirt. I was like, you know, I bet fucking Bulldog's going to wear it. So, <laughs> so I bet Bulldog's going to wear the Villa Club shirt today. And... See, even though we only spend one, hour, you know, a couple hours a week with each other, boy, I'm learning him. In two, like all day there's right it. There. Boom, like too sweet. Man. Marty Skrull. We're we're both bigger than he is. <laughs> he's like the size of my leg. Yeah, but he's awesome. The guy he can is go. Awesome. You like him? A yeah. little. What's that? He does that little finger um, snap. Oh yeah, the yeah, it's the like, good stuff. Somebody, another one puts the thumb up. Somebody like the butthole. Somebody shows a thumb with the butthole on the independent scene. You haven't seen the Alistair Black does it? It's in the PWG. Like this is a whole like eight. Yeah, like, Tommy in Jushin Liger. There's a whole like train of people that you would know. Johnny Gargano. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It's it's this, uh, and they all have a thumb up their each other's butts for, and they're walking. And Jushin Liger leads the train yeah. with a thumb up his ass the whole time. <laughs> It's like, having the, fun. Oh god, like, what I, he had locked him up. I think that's L- Liger's move. He locked him it up. Clinched up on him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Guess I'm going this way now. Like, Unless right. I want to lose this thumb. It was fucking funny. The absurdity of pro wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I love about it so much. Well, I mean, go that far. that's like one of my favorite things to see. And a lot of people get pissed off about it. But the uh, the psychic wrestler, like the uh, the telepathic wrestler that does the choke slam from across the ring. Yes. Not even touching the guy. Yeah. <laughs> he even throws the arm over the shoulder. The dude's like, <laughs> yeah, and then launches himself like four feet in the air. Or yeah, that's the same thing. I I love that the that part of it. The the, the absurdity. Yes, the like, comedy. It's... Like it, one perfect example in the E was Mizdow. Oh, oh Damian yeah. Mizdow recreating Being every that stunt move double. Out, yes, mm. out on the, how fucking of genius the was that? that was great. Taking bumps and shit. Dude. Dude, he was nuts. That was so over, so fucking over. It was one of the best things that was, outside of Miz's current run. That was my uh, that was the the best thing that he's done ever. Other than that, the WWE title run it sh- outshone that so well because whenever he had they won the tag titles and Miz carries fucking both of them and Damian Sandow has fucking toy tag titles. <laughs> 
And he's holding him up, and everybody's like, fuck you, Miz. I hate you so much. <laughs> and Damien holds up the toy ti- toy titles, and it's the most over thing. There was, there was a, it was a King of the Ring match, I think. And Mizdow, or, and Damien Mizdow got the most chance out of everybody in that match. He was the most over one in the whole match, or it might have been a Royal Rumble, or something with a <laughs> bunch of people in the ring at the same time. That Mizdow was the most over thing that year. It was 15 or 14 or something like that. So it was great. Speaking of, have you heard the news that 205 Live will be Vince Free? Vince Free, yeah. Triple H is going to run it. Yeah. It's going to be more like the Cruiserweight Classic now. I heard that. Uh, they're also, apparently, my advice is being heated, and they realize that it does not need to be part of the main brand shows because by the time they do 205 Live, the crowd is already spent. Yeah, they're done. They're not into it. If you watch Two Hundred Five Live, the crowd is not into it at all. They're dead. Half the crowd. They're just done. Yeah. So they are talking about potentially either moving it to the NXT arena or getting another studio at full sale and having its own arena. Yep. That's what needs to happen. And you know what needs to happen with Two Hundred Five Live? If they do it in that manner, Two Hundred Five Live can still go on the road with NXT. Dope, you put 205 Live on the road with NXT, you now have something that why not base that competes up? and outshines WWE in every aspect. Why not base that se- that center in Vegas or somewhere out west? They've got a they've they, got a center of operations now in New York or in, in Stanford, Connecticut, which is basically New, New York right, fucking yeah. city. You're an hour away. Yeah, if that's that. New York City. You're you've got a basis headquarters in New York City. You got a headquarters down in Florida. Where all the wrestlers actually live because of the because of the tax laws and those types of things. Right. Why not another? Why not another another corporate friendly, tax friendly state? Well, Arizona, yeah. Va- uh, Nevada, Nevada fucking, has no Colorado. Nevada has no, if you have one a, of those created as an S corporation. Boom. Yeah, you're in golden in. Fucking, there's no state tax in, in Vegas and making that because that's the fight capital <clears throat> anyway. It's the it's really a, a lot more fit people in. In Vegas, out west, those are uh, at, at generally a thinner people. I lived in Vegas, and there's that a lot. Is, I mean, that is a, a very fat, incorrect assumption. No, there's a lot of there's a lot of <laughs> heaviness out there too. But that's where the Olympia is at. There's a lot of athletic <clears throat> mud runner fucking things and the master toddies out there. and the the fucking yeah the 900 mile races and shit. Well, and stuff master toddies is out there, and that's where all the UFC fighters so go to roll and come in town. Two hundred five is more athletic more that's more of a west coast they can give that style that luchador style you're closer to mexico that you know what i mean you know who i would like to see transition from mma to mm-hmm. wwe mighty mouse demetrius johnson fuck yeah but he's this big dude that's he's perfect 205 big. live baby he could be no he, he'd stereo. end up fucking with hornswoggle <laughs> If Hornswoggle are going to bust out a moonsault. He's this, dude, Demetrius Johnson is one of the greatest martial arts artists of all time, if not the greatest martial artist of all time. The way he's been able to just completely he's like a black outclass. Bruce Lee. He's been able to completely outclass an entire division for years and finish him in every single manner that you can think of spectacularly. <laughs> His highlight reel is one of the best, but he's this fucking big. And he's the one that hits it. that. Uh, he'd, he'd bounce off the bottom rope. He's the one that hits that head kick off that dude's back fist, right? That I love. Or no, that's Eve Edwards. Eve, Josh Eve Ed- yeah, 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 yeah. God, I love that. Yeah, that's, the, that's, that's still one, one of, of the most favorites. beautiful things I've ever seen. Yeah, like he knew that back fist was coming. And as soon as he myself. felt him separate away from him, Kick. he just launches in the yep. air and whap! <laughs> yep, Light off the ground. They both oh, he fell. turned him off. He, they both fell. But someone was awake and someone was not. No, he was not. <laughs> it was he shut him off like a light. <laughs> that, that dude went... <laughs> right in the neck, dude. I mean, just... <laughs> Hit that carotid artery. Oh, Good night, man. Irene. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> and then he gets up and punches him because Josh Thompson had a real re- fast reflex he to was get up to, off the ground. Yeah. yeah, he was able to jump back up real quick because he was a state champion wrestler and that kind of shit. And in, in he did not to, that day. <laughs> yeah, and he really was able to physically manhandle Eve Edwards in a lot of situations, but Eve just worked around, worked around him, got his back, used his jujitsu, mm-hmm. and worked around him. 
and then up and ended up to he he timed to move perfect and just launched this just just threw his whole body into this kick and it was beautiful but yeah i'm really excited though for 205 live to see how this progresses large the strong the japanese strong style the mexican luchador style this so uh, i i listened this week i listened to a full Kenny Omega interview where he was talking about his time at the Performance Center. And it was not good. Yeah. Because he's talking about Bill DeMott. And Kenny Omega is such... Like, you hear him <clears throat> speak in this interview, and he is such a polite, nice guy. And he really... He would not throw Bill DeMott under the bus. He wouldn't run him down. But he was just like, you know some of the things that he did were extremely questionable he was like my time there was miserable and he goes so i made it my point he's like i took most of the punishment for everyone else that i was training with he was like i knew that i could take it and i could stand it (coughs) so he just absorbed the punishment for everyone else around him (coughs) and but he He's was in great, yeah. He was in great shape. So oh yeah, any of those physical challenges, anything that but, Bill could think of, he just he'd smoke it. One yeah. thing that stood out to me was whenever you know Kenny was doing his thing in the ring, Bill Demott would yell at him all the time, and be like, "You want to do that luchador shit? You want to fly around, go down to Mexico? You want to do that strong style crap? Go to Japan. That doesn't fly here." And I was just like. If that isn't the most Vince McMahon thing I've ever... That was ever... very Laurinaitis right there. Oh, oh, dude, he That's did. That was. He had nothing but bad to say about Johnny Laryngitis. Johnny L? Oh. Yeah. Dude, Johnny Laryngitis. that guy's a fucking tool. Johnny Ace is a fucking tool, man. You know you know what, what cloth he's cut from? Kevin Dunn. Yeah, I know. Kevin Dunn is John Laurinaitis is Kevin Dunn Jr. It's all where it was too much entertainment. That was too much, and not enough mm-hmm. sports, and it became too much entertainment. I think, if like, any, in, like whenever the doink, the clowns, and Duke the J- dumpster drosies, <sighs> and the fucking bush, you know, the from the bushwhackers and all that, all that character, it became too much entertainment. Yeah, not enough not sports. Of sports. And then it, the Attitude Era brought the sports back into it because it focused more on the wrestling and the feuds as opposed right. to yeah. Boom. as opposed to the Undertaker. <laughs> it tra- Undertaker was one of the few few that things that were able to transfer, and it worked still. Where he was well. able to train, but he still had to bring a real American edge. badass. Yeah, he yeah, brought yeah, a re- yeah. he brought Mark Calloway to the forefront during that time. Mark Calloway, yeah. yeah. But then whenever they started to focus back more on entertainment, uh-huh. he was still able to keep. He was still able to keep the uh, sports aspect of it. The, those were the matches with Shawn Michaels and oh, Triple yeah. H, and that's when he, the dude, WrestleMania streak. And Taker, that was the wrestling. Taker Michaels. Yeah. the retirement match is. How's it going? Both of them. Holy oh, shit! Taker Flair. One. Yeah. All of those, all of those WrestleMania matches that he was having. <laughs> They were all good. Dude, yeah. Michaels versus Flair, the retirement match. Well, I'm talking about Michaels Undertaker. Yes. When Undertaker Both of those. retired. Yeah. yeah. When Undertaker retired Michaels. Dude. Wow. It, it's hard to pinpoint who was better in that match. It really is because they both damn near killed themselves. Yeah. That jump over the top rope Taker did. Well, and then the fucking moonsault that Sean did and hit the fucking table. Taker moved out of the way. I was like, oh, no. What? Ow. My yeah. balls. Oh, dude. <laughs> Ow, I'm just, my ball. I'm just happy that he sold enough t-shirts so he doesn't have to work anymore. Right. That's uh, Gets to I'm, hunt and mm-hmm. fish. And I was like, he's like, I'll make a TV show about some shit. I'll make a terrible <laughs> ass Jesus movie. God. Is that uh, the pure country? Uh, I don't know what it's called. Uh, it's proselytizing bullshit, yeah. though. It's trying to make you this believe. Is why, like, okay. That's why I try to tell people, keep your religion to yourself. Because it's, like the whole damn the Cameron. Eagles, whenever the Eagles coach and fucking Nick Foles, look, Jesus nut hugger, I know. I know you're a Jesus nut hugger. You don't have to get on goddamn national television and be like, all oh, power to the to the mighty Jesus Christ. Well, shut up. Really, Jesus Christ was not the one making you a fucking phenomenal athlete. 
mm-hmm. and putting in all of the hours of work, you know, the tens of thousands to possibly, you know, hundreds of thousands of hours that went into you hitting this pinnacle of time across you, all these other players and your coaches. No, there's no supernatural anything. It was hard work, dedication, and sacrifice. And roids. <laughs> that too, probably, but... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no. I don't anyway, any, I don't want any birthday cake. I've got steroids. <laughs> but two hundred five live, two hundred five live is going to be <laughs> outstanding. Now I think it's going to be more like because Gulak is going to be. Well, I, I do like that Drew Maverick got up Tony Nice and Drew Gulak's asses about the whole. You've been like clowns. I didn't see it. Oh, this past know. week's 205 Live? Yeah, Maverick told them both. He was like, you're clowns. He was like doing the Zoe train thing and all that. Like, he was making fun of them, called them out, and they were like, they gave him this look like, fuck you, man. <laughs> and I'm just trying to be on TV. <laughs> Shit. I just want my time in the spot, man. Flavor Flav, you know, look what ended up happening to him. He was just back up to Chuck D. He ended up getting to bang that chick from Rocky and having his own TV Bridget show. Wilson. Yeah. yeah. So what? She was busted as fuck whenever he got with her. Yeah. He still he looks like a fucking match, a used <laughs> match, like a cloth. One. <laughs> That's what he looks like. I love. They fucked him up so bad on that roast. They oh, said he looked oh, like a man. skeleton wrapped in electrical tape. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> That was the worst. The roast of Flavor Flav. That was my favorite. That was awesome. That and Beaver was two of the best roasts ever. Yeah. <laughs> they got him. They got in his ass so bad. Oh, yeah. The Beaver one was great. Martha Stewart was gangster as fuck. Yeah, she was. <laughs> she went OG. Like, <laughs> it was fun. I like that. I like those roasts because it, it gives people permission to shit on each other. And not, you can't, you're there. You know what's yeah, coming. no hurt feelings. Like Hulk Hogan, he got it so hard at Hasselhoff's. Because he's wearing a feather boa and they're calling him a fag and stuff. Oh, it was so good. Uh, Rob Lowe, when Peyton Manning got up to roast Rob Lowe. I see that. Oh, that's good. I saw it. I just don't remember. And then also on that panel, on that dais, that's the one Ann Coulter was on. Oh, they everybody. And everyone just ass. shit all over Ed Coulter. <laughs> yes. I, I gotta watch that one. It was really good. You could just watch. There's a YouTube video of all the people <laughs> shitting on Ann Coulter, <laughs> and then Ann Coulter getting up and it's like, "Hey, you know, I'm just pit, I'm just pitching my book. Here's my book. Hey, here it's. <laughs> I'm my a book. New York Times bestselling you guys, author. You guys I, love me. I love you guys so. Oh, much. Oh yeah, dude. She played the heel. It was good. Yeah, she was funny. And she is all. I mean, she just looks like vinegar I just <laughs> if I had she to personify like, if I had she, to personify her face looks like it's in a constant state of vinegar stroke oh, yeah just <laughs> she looks like she's smelling a fart she all looks, the time yeah, she looks like she's 10 seconds away from asking for the manager always oh. always in yeah. reality she's always three check please yeah right How's that bitch? she so, looks like Dina <laughs> Actually, Dina's that far off. Do you, uh, I, I knew it. I knew it. So you, that's so exactly you didn't... that. She's exactly who I thought of when he described her. <laughs> so you didn't find Dina this week? No. Nah. Oh, Was a tattoo of a fucking cornucopia. <laughs> it's like a whole Thanksgiving scene on her, on the smaller <laughs> the back. horn of plenty. That's what I'm saying. No. I was like, no. Fruits and no. heirloom <laughs> tomatoes and shit. No. Like, beef steak. Tomatoes. No. Beef steak no. tomatoes. No, stop it. No. No. You gonna put it, all that shit He's in a blender. He's Michael Jackson. No, Lucky. that's ignorant. Lucky Lucky guy. Guy. No. You gonna put all that stuff no. in a blender and make a nice marinara sauce. <laughs> <laughs> she got the sauce. Speaking of that, hey, the cornucopia tattoo on the back. Last night, for the first time ever, I cooked gumbalaya. Yeah. I made gumbo and, and jambalaya. Mm. And... Haley was even like, "Holy shit, this game. it, it what was, was a little in too it? spicy for her." Jesus Christ, dude! I know. Everything. Um, the main, like the main meats that I used were. Uh, I knew that he'd go straight to the meat. Fuck yeah! <laughs> uh, chicken, shrimp, That's what she's... and uh, a dooley sausage. A what? A dooley. Nice. I yeah. that that's the way that you say that. What's what a is it? I don't know. 
I don't know. It's a, I've just only seen it written sausage. down, and I've I've heard you say it now. I've never even heard of it before. Yeah. It's a dooley. I thought it was just sausage. No, 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 no. This is pure pork that's sausage. Cajun, that's but, Cajun sausage. Yeah. Cajun yeah, it's already sausage. spiced, seasoned. Mm. But I seasoned it a little bit more and cooked all the meat in uh, olive oil. Mm. Right. No, I used... Uh, I used. <laughs> <laughs> I did put some sriracha in it, like in <laughs> my bowl. But <laughs> God damn it. But... <laughs> Uh, I used Creole seasoning, garlic habanero, and cayenne pepper. Garlic habanero is my shit. I that Weber's? Yeah. The, fuck yeah, dude. I uh, put that shit on everything. That is like, that's the, that's the, the, that's the pregame to the sriracha. Like the, <laughs> <laughs> sriracha. Sriracha. Did you throw an alligator in there, like grilled alligator? No. Oh, but man. there was. Fish, no. Uh, no. Uh, and everything that I put in there was fresh, except for the diced tomatoes. I went ahead and got cans of diced tomatoes because I did not want to do that bullshit. Yeah, but diced tomatoes. I uh, I crushed and chopped garlic, like minced garlic, uh-huh. like actual garlic cloves, uh, sliced okra. Um, there was, of course, I had to put bay leaves in it. Uh, parsley and cilantro that were fresh that I chopped and diced up myself uh tomato paste mm. chicken stock oh that sounds good and then oh onions bell peppers that were all diced I had to do that mm. like it literally mm. took me about three hours mm. to do the whole thing yeah it makes a while though. but it was so worth it and I, I made a huge fucking pot of it i gotta like, make oh. some i want to make some uh crab legs and i want to make crawfish and crab legs and shit i want to do a crab a crawdad boil i guess that's Hell what's yeah called. No, i want to do one of those this year i have a really big fucking pot mm. and i could get a strainer and i can just get the rest of the shit for it and you can buy all that shit frozen at fucking the local grocers yeah so oh. yeah. i think i'm gonna do that this year with lemons Mm-hmm. And, now you know we potatoes. won't get a phone call about this. No, this I'll tell get a phone you about, about it after. Number line. Yeah, yeah, you tell us about it. I'll after. tell you about it after. Like On the you're podcast. doing. Like I'll be like, hey, you guys, I had a last night. This motherfucker. Yeah. This motherfucker. It just happened. It happened yesterday. <laughs> I brought two each for you. Get you two get two crowd dads and motherfucker. a cob of corn and a okay. little piece of lemon to squeeze. I'm gonna get to eat lunchable since dirt now. Yeah. yeah. Right. Nah, it's Turkey. my fault that you're the one eating some gross ass edible munchable lunchable. Listen, it, got, it comes with a fucking crunch bar and a Capri Sun. Oh, they don't got them no more. Oh, they don't got the ones with the Capri Sun no and more. They shit on the world now. What? Yeah. <laughs> Who shit on the world? The fucking lunchable people. Why? Why do they? Ain't do no that? more Capri Sun. No more Capri Sun. No more Capri Sun. Damn. Fuck why it. do you know that? Because I eat lunchables. Fuck you, tar. Why do you eat lunchables? <laughs> Why? <laughs> How much are they now? They're like ninety nine cent. That's why. Oh, they're a dollar. Yeah. For a lunchable. Dollar is that just is that just the cheese, the deli meat, and the crackers? No, it's cheese, deli meat, cracker. You can get pizza varieties too. Plus they, get, they give you like an Oreo cookie. They give you like a crunch bar, a Butterfinger. A they give lunch. you all of those candies, and it's like, a dollar. Not all at once, but that's like, what I'm and, asking. What's like, in an individual one? Like one piece of candy. Like we got one piece of choco. You know what I'm saying? Then you got your like blonies. You got your turkeys. Then you got your uh, cheesies. Then you got your motherfucking uh, crackers. So there's two meats? No, there's one meat. I'm just oh, saying, I'm telling you the variety of meats. You said bolognese and you said, what's the other one? <laughs> well, turkeys. 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 Okay. All right. Bolognese and turkeys. No, then you got like cheese <laughs> and avocados. Not cheese, but we're going to mention it anyways. Uh-huh. And then there's like, you got a Butterfinger though. Okay. Well, I don't know. You got that time Brady. I'm not nine and I don't eat fucking lunch. Do you, just, do you just eat one at a time or do you eat like three or four? I eat like three or four. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I figured. That's so fat. <laughs> I knew it. Like, mm, I'm just going to eat a whole stack of crackers at once. Uh, yeah, uh, that's uh, what I do. Uh, I stack uh, them all up together and I eat them like, it's like a little, like little mini Big Mac. A little mini Big Mac. Yes. Like some jumbo shrimps. Like a poor person's mini Big Mac. <laughs> he like he a stacks his jumbo shrimps on each other. Look, it's yeah. like a little mini shrimp big boat captain. Look at you. It's a Mark Twain. I'm that's like a, Forrest a... Gump. <laughs> he doesn't do that with shrimp, though. <laughs> shrimp Lunchables are a little bit more expensive. God so, damn. He just, gets the, he just gets the turkeys and the hams. Dollar 30 cents. <laughs> <laughs> the shrimp lunchables are a dollar thirty. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. So he said, "Is that fuck that? I'm sticking with the turkeys and the hams." 
<laughs> Sick of it. That one penny got me. Fuck it. Uh, it's like going to a dollar store and finding out people sell shit for 99 cents. They got me. Mm-hmm. That happened on the uh, King of the Hill. That happened on King of the Hill. What happened on King of the Hill? Uh, Todd went to the dollar store and then he found out there was a 99 cent store. He's like, these motherfuckers saw me coming. <laughs> I ain't got no knees. <laughs> I love that guy. Cotton Hill is one of the greatest, greatest animated characters of all time. He called he called his he called his baby son Good Hank. He called him Good Hank. He named him that. He's got a forty year old grown son, or forty five or however old Hank Hill was, and he named a kid Good Hank. How fucking hateful is that shit? What the fuck? Thanks, Dad. You just gonna sit there in that diaper now? <laughs> <laughs> he was so aggressive toward Peggy, <laughs> Hank's wife. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He <laughs> Hank's wife. He called her fucking Hank's wife <laughs> when they were selling all that stuff. He was oh. just fighting with everybody. And, oh yeah, I'll cheers to that. I'll drink to that. So I know Nubsy didn't see it, but did mm. you see the SpaceX launch this week? I watched a bit of it. Dude. It was pretty cool. Fucking I watched the rockets land simultaneously. Yes. Uh, that, that was fantastic. That's what I was going to get to. feet of fucking engineering. Elon Musk is yeah. fucking amazing, and he finds amazing people. I mean, like, the car's going to miss Mars, but... It's going to the sun. No. That was going to Mars. No. Well, it, They're going to the sun. It's going to orbit the sun. The radiation's going to burn everything up so that there's no extra space junk left. Cool. Yeah. Well, yeah I, like I don't too. know. I don't know enough about it. I just know that it happened. Yeah, I and I memes. love that they played Bowie Starman. Joe Rogan was talking to Duncan Trussell this week. Do you think there's a person inside of the spacesuit that pissed Elon Musk off? <laughs> He put some flatter. I mean, or, he's this fucking he eccentric. Some, he put the leader of the flatter. It's that guy that there. shot himself out of that rocket. Yeah, he, he was like, "Okay, bitch." I mean, think about you it. You want to see? And I love that the video of the rocket going up just shit all over the flat earthers immediately. Oh, uh, because had the, the. Oh, you see the fucking curve. Yeah. As, as soon as it's high enough, it just all of a sudden you see it go. And it just bends out. You see it. There it is. Oh, oh, look. That's pretty fucking round. <laughs> we can't see it because we're on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> well, and what I love is. I don't know. People try man. to say that a, that an airplane that's flying at 30,000 feet, they're like, look, there's no curve. And I'm like. You got to get higher. Mother All right. fuck. Dirt really? dirt. If you stare at a basketball at eye level, like you hold it to your face, yeah. it looks flat. Like you, you don't see any of this. Like it's, Hey. Get after it. Get to that ice wall. Right. Go check out what's on the other side of that motherfucker. I love For the, all I, I care while you're munching on your Tide Pods on the fucking way. Oh, Take yeah. a snack. It's I a love, long flight. I love the train of thought that, or the little the the comedy <coughs> thought of if the Earth were flat, cats would have knocked everything off by now. Yeah. That's so great. That's that's a fantastic that spike. I do. I you love see the it. Fuck this frog. Yeah. <laughs> fuck this frog in particular. This cat. Just, there's a stuffed frog sitting next to a cat. This cat's sitting on a ledge. This cat looks over and sees this stuffed frog. And goes fuck out of here. <laughs> they just smacks it the fuck off the shelf. Cats are so awesome. Uh, but yeah, the SpaceX like the fact that the rockets are reusable. First of all, the fact that they that he designed rockets, they SpaceX designed rockets that do not burn up upon re-entering the atmosphere. Okay, that's enough. They could have dropped in the ocean and been salvaged. No, no. No, why would we do that when we can make them land back on the like on landing pads yeah. simultaneously? Like just, at, like just at the same goddamn time like within fractions of a second <laughs> of each other. I was like the fuck out of here yep. when i saw the like i was like okay this is done and then they said and now we'll have the re-entry of the rockets coming up next and i'm like they're you just know, gonna burn up like i was just like i've seen this before they poof, it looks like a fucking start uh, like a fireworks show uh, and i was like hey those aren't burnt up hey those are why are they re how are they re they still got fuel in them 
what the fuck? And then all of a sudden, I see them right themselves, and I was like, they're straight up and down. They're, what are those legs? These, like, <laughs> huge metal legs unfold up. I was like, no fucking way. Like, it hit me That's about cool. 30 seconds before it was that. I was like, it hit me what was happening. I was like, no fucking way. Yeah. No fucking way. And then I was, and just, boop, right down. On, I was like, get the fuck out of here. He just accomplished something within the he started spacex in 2005 i think he just accomplished something in 13 years that nasa hasn't been able to do in 70 right 60 70 what the fuck have these assholes been doing 1957 um covering up alien attacks <laughs> oh aliens is this elon musk will prove it well it, i'm i'm just going to say this so they, i'd be freaked out if i was alien looking you at know, this place also yeah. you have to appreciate elon musk's sense of humor so that 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 rocket that just went up was called falcon heavy now <clears throat> the rocket that's being designed to actually transport people to mars to set up the first small colony is called the bfr bitch fucking ass Big fucking rocket, man! It's, it's big. God. No, it's big Falcon rocket, but oh. you get it. Oh, I thought you said A was the last letter. No, B F R. Okay, big Falcon rocket. R. Yeah, <laughs> right in between S, a and and B. S and C. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> nah, it's not. That's the first letter of the alphabet. It is actually. No, Alpha, Bravo. Yeah. Oh, A. That what was, the fuck? That was as far as he got. That was as far as I got. <laughs> what, uh, what's up? If he was out in the field and had to do any kind of any kind of call sign, be, you don't dumb. remember the phonetic alphabet? He's like uh, Alpha, Bravo, uh, Charlie, uh, Delta, <laughs> Echo. All that. I got them all. Foxtrot, Foxtrot. I want to do the whole fucking phonetic alphabet. George. Nah. Nope. Nah. It's golf. Dolph. Go- oh yeah, golf. Hector. No, hotel. Ho- oh, yep, hotel. Yeah. Give India. A- uh, Lima. There you go. He knew that from the shield. No, no, I, I, <laughs> no, I, I know Lima. Um, what is him? Mike. Mike. Oh, okay. November. Yeah. Uh, Oscar. Yeah. It's like it's a pizza place. <laughs> Papa. Papa. Oh, Quebec. Uh, Romeo, Sierra, Tango, Uniform, Uniform. Victor, Whiskey, X-Ray, Yankee, Zulu. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the first time he, uh, Joe Sarn's like, yo. Dude, I, I learned alphabet. it back. Do your phonetic everything. alphabet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I did yeah. that. Well, yeah, yeah because the end of it is it's the weirdest. Yeah. Well, yeah, you want to learn those. I, I know it front and back. <laughs> Dude, mm. Literally, because I did a lot of push-ups in the Army. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> they were really into my ass for knowing all those <laughs> rules and they want you to memorize a whole bunch of stuff. I'm like, no wonder people get fucking brainwashed. The word shit, ethos. there ain't no room for anything else. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of shit. Yeah, you've have you seen the NCO Creed? Yeah, it's fucking like three Dude, pages long. It's the fucking it's like eight nine. Pa- <laughs> the Declaration of Independence, I'm, basically. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking long. There's eight or nine long paragraphs with four. Or five and they sentences. have to know it. You have to know heart. it verbatim, like from the. You say it before you become a non-commissioned yeah. officer. Yeah, that's no joke. Yeah, that Damn. that and you need a whole bunch of promotion points if you're. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like a thousand promotion points. <laughs> no. It, well, seven or eight hundred is the highest it goes. And Pepsi uh, points don't work. Three fifty. Do have saw. Three fifty is is some of the lower end ones, but I don't think it's it's probably not that right now because the military. Is we're not struggling. we're not in it well no it, well, it's not that they're struggling it's just that they don't need as many people on the ground they right. don't need as many people in the military right now. Because the ground wars are not as, we're not reporting on them every day, and it's not the big news cycle stuff. So we're just yeah. in Afghanistan. We're not in Iraq anymore. As our presence isn't as big there as it was back in 06, 07, 08, when I went. Did you deploy? I was up for three, but they all got canceled. Nice. No. Oh. Good for you. I'm oh, getting fucking me around. What? Bullshit. You wanted to go. I wanted to go, but then I didn't want to go. <laughs> I promise it was hot <laughs> as fuck. I know they said it was like 140 degrees, but there's no humidity though. So, well, dude, hey, look, hold up. I'm gonna tell you right now. I lived in Vegas, where it's goddamn 120 degrees every day in the summer. All right, and everybody goes, "Oh, but it's a dry heat." I'll punch you in the fucking face because <laughs> it's like walking outside 
into a goddamn blow dryer that nobody turns off. Oh, man. And it's in your face all fucking day. You will actually get more. You get, First of all, if you're not used to that arid climate, your nose is going to bleed for the first two weeks mm. until your sinuses adjust. Second, breathing in dry, arid climate when it's that hot you might as well be trying to do a hardcore workout in Denver, not being acclimated. Oh, yeah, to... like hot yoga. It's awesome in Denver. <laughs> no breathing. Going in May. I'm going in May. <clears throat> no breathing. We're going to do – me and Cassie are going. You're going back in May? Uh-huh. Nice. Oh, yeah. Imagine that. Oh, oh. boy. <laughs> oh, man, we're going to hear about that some, again. We're going to do some hot yoga. We're going to do some hot yoga there. We've already got a little bit of some plans. See, I'm more – like if I go to Denver – I'm looking for the high yoga studio. Yeah. They have that too. Like just, the high and hot yoga. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> That's okay. That Spark 420 <laughs> yoga. That's okay. I mean, it's not like you just... That blaze up to right your blaze up. up yoga. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly what he said. He got that 100% right. Good for you, buddy. Blaze up till you raise up. As in, raise up to the place. Raise up to it. Raise up to the bar. Pull up. No, nah, man, I'm talking about you. Dirt Nap keeps Sig Heiling you. Yeah. <laughs> Raise up to the That's what you're talking about. That's not a Sig Heil. <laughs> you going to start goose stepping now, motherfucker? <laughs> no. Look left. I got goose weak, step, I got, Dave. I got weak ACLs. Locking out like <laughs> that's not good for him. You're fucking hyenas looking at Scar. <laughs> goo, goo. I know that goo, your goo, powers goo. of pretensions. Goo, goo. That's a good one. That's a warthog's backside. Mm-mm. That ain't me. I ain't no... You don't like the Lion hyena. King? No, I ain't one of the hyenas from the Lion King. <laughs> I don't freak out when you say Mufasa. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> uh, and dude. yet, there he is. <laughs> Hello. 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 <laughs> it's Dick in the Dark Dave. <laughs> I, I, my what am I supposed to do? I love that shit. <laughs> the commercials. Yeah. And your favorites. I'll just go back and listen to it. I'm digging the Dirk Dave. Over and over. Is it your text notification? Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Thank you. Hello. Digging the Dirk Dave here. My village in Russia. We don't no, we'll look with the ladies. We we already got that. We did that already. Uh, I don't care. We did that. Already. Still doing Thanks it. for the good callback. No. Fuck you <laughs> in your couch. All uh-huh. right. That was not a callback. Because was... you could buy another one. God <laughs> damn. <laughs> it was a callback. It was okay. Yeah. It was all right. No. You're almost there. What? Is the light still on? On the what? On the camera. No. Is it still It's good? on here. It's Let's good. See. We're good. I know that mine's recording. See, look how easy it is to distract. Yeah. Boy. Squirrel. I swear. <laughs> I want to make sure we get this right, because last time. <laughs> <laughs> I want the people I want to make us. sure. I want it. See, listen. Mm-hmm. Aw. Wait until, wait until, just l- allow them to love you. No, man, they gotta don't, love me now. Don't want them to love you. <laughs> like now. Dina. Like Dina, fucking love me now, whore. <laughs> that worked. Mm. Wait, yeah, I hope she listens. <laughs> wait, I'm gonna let her listen to this episode when they're getting married. <laughs> you guys don't. He's like, come on, man. Instead of the wedding march, we type it, we <laughs> patch into don't the fucking sound system. Love me now, whore. Love me now, whore. Love me now, whore. <laughs> That's some shit straight out of a Coen Brothers movie, man. Oh, yeah. Right. Or the guys that wrote Naked Gun. Oh. Or Wayne's World. That's or weird. a Mel Brooks movie. Mel Brooks. I don't know if he'd stoop that low. Oh. <laughs> it's Have you? Not- I see your enough. Schwartz is as big as mine. I yeah. need- <laughs> He Everybody's will go that's for a, the cheap, funny laugh. Dude, yeah. that's a double entendre, though. <laughs> Let's see if Swartz is... Like, how's it a double entendre? Because he's talking about his, the sword yeah. and their dicks at the same time. Yes. It's a reference to his dick. It's an innuendo. It's it's yeah. a double entendre. It I like means, the word innuendo better. Okay. Look it at sounds... you. Look at you making choices. Yeah. All oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I did it. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. One of these days I'll be able to let you out for more. 
more than his three hour day pass Whatever, he gets to come yeah. here. I don't fucking have a life. I just come here and I go home. Uh, and the bowling alley. And uh, lane seven of fucking uh, smart markers bowling. Greasing it up. <laughs> Greasing it up. Got the lanes all lubed. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Like <laughs> like the fuck? Like the popsicle kind? No. Or like the cotton, like literal like cotton candy milk ice cream? Like, you know the bit top, they got cotton candy ice cream. No shit. Yeah. Oh, what like soft serve? Yeah. Well, is it like what? What's is soft it like serve? soft serve ice cream, or is it like he said? What scoop, soft? What soft out of the serve? Bucket ice cream. Which one is it? I don't muff it. it, it it's swirly. It's swir- Yep. Soft serve. That's soft serve. Look okay. at you. Learn it. Yeah. Innuendo. I just call double it double entendre. I just, the difference. The different types of ice creams that there I, are. I just like the word. I just like ice cream. I don't give a fuck what it is. Cool. And that you were correct in calling it that. I'm just trying to figure out what type of ice cream it is because there are several. It's delicious. It comes in a cup or a cone. I bet you fucking hate going to Starbucks, don't you? So much. So many choices. I don't know what the fuck to call it. I just want some coffee. Oh, my God. I just say venti. That's all I say. <laughs> Let me get a cappuccino venti, please. Nice. That's your order? That's the only I say. What else am I and supposed to gets, order? And it gets you. Oh, dude, there's so many ways to make so many things. They didn't get you a cup of what you want. That's all. It's, that's all. It's important. Cappuccino venti. Boom. What do you get, at Starbucks? The fuck out as quickly <laughs> you don't, as possible. You don't go to Starbucks? No, not really. No, you don't like you don't like um, coffees. I think I've been to Starbucks like three, four times, maybe. Um, okay. I do love in the fall when they have caramel apple cider. If you would have okay. said pumpkin spice, I'm like you, some bitch. You guys need to get. I some do cake like pops. pumpkin spice. You guys need to get some cake pops in your life. But I also <laughs> had their this like dark mocha mint thing that they had. It was it was like a like a slushy like it was cold. Oh my god, it was. Really they had some good. really good frozen. Yeah, drinks. That's what it was. Yeah, yes. it was really good. I do like ice. But coffee. man, I was wired as fuck. That was like probably an eight hundred calorie fucking oh, drink like, too. At least they are oh. so heavy with sugar <laughs> and syrups and yeah. Mm. Coffees, Darius, Darius, various Darius products. <laughs> various it's Darius, good, good. Yeah, very good. That's they a new delicious. wrestler name, actually. Darius Various. That's good. Well, who? That'd be a good wrestler name. Darius, what? Various. Various Darius. Whichever one you say. Like spectacular Travis. No. Travis good. spectacular. That dude, he's so good. I went to. I went to. Speaking of terrible indie wrestlers that are the greatest because mm-hmm. that's what's spectacular did you get a new focus on wednesday i went last night oh yeah yeah guess who was in the motherfucking house the legend himself or the son of the legend himself jerry lawler brian grandmaster sexy christopher nice it was awesome he's like what's the next show he comes in and does this little spot with one of the guys that works there and hits him with a broom in the crotch and like when's the next show and they're like next saturday all right, I'm going to be here March 31st. <laughs> March 31st. And I'm going to be back in Evansville. It was the funniest shit. He was, I don't know, he was on He was on happiness last night. He was on happiness. For sure. Oh. He was in a good mood. And he cucked a guy grabbing his girlfriend's ass right in front of me. It was pretty funny. He cucked a guy. Yeah, he did. He was tut. He cucked her. He cuckold. Yeah, he. Oh, he grabbed. He, oh, he grabbed okay. the. He grabbed this. And, he, and the dude little, didn't do anything. The guy was just sitting there smiling, and she melted into the chair like she was a fucking candle with three flames on it. It just, <laughs> just <laughs> sploosh, <laughs> just right into the fucking chair. Oh, and it was man. so funny. That dude got the best sex of his life last night, or and it wasn't for him. Uh, and, and, yeah. <laughs> He was she just, was taking pictures. He was she just was a participant. Fucking, oh, dude, and she was getting fucking mad pictures of Micah's too, boy. <laughs> she was sitting there just like, pull, look at him. Focus. 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 Picture, picture, picture. Oh, he is immaculate. Look, look, <laughs> look. And she was showing her boyfriend. Look what I got. Oh, look, my. I got this great shot of his ass. Oh, look, oh, there's God. his dick. It was a six-man tag team main event. Was Chase there? Chase. Stevens? No. No? No. The Bullet Club one? The Bullet Club Chase Stevens? Or was that Chase Owens? That would be Chase Owens. Chase Stevens. He was half of the Naturals in TNA. Okay. Now, Rob Conway's coming back next week, and he's challenging Micus, and he's talking about his body being iron. (laughs) Like how he's got a better body than Micus. I don't know. 
I don't know. We'll see what happens next week. I don't Mike's, know, man. Mike has been hitting some carbs. Mike is. He. he Mike has been hitting some carbs. He's been. He's been. I don't know if he's holding some holiday weight or not right now. <laughs> uh oh. I'm just Mike saying. Is, Mike is retaining some water. I don't know. I don't know. It might is he be, looking? Is he little, looking squishy? I don't know. He's, uh oh. He's listed at two fifty. That's what they're. That's what Mike, they're advertising. They're saying he Mike is. Ain't, like, uh, Mike is like two twenty eight. <laughs> If, probably right with now. Buck shot in his probably pocket. right now. He's yeah. two twenty eight. Yeah. Yeah. Probably right. <laughs> I would say yeah, probably two thirty. Yeah. But two fifty. <laughs> now now his, his he's he's solid. Yeah. But I just think he went ham I, <laughs> and back for more ham on Thanksgiving. <laughs> what the? Ooh, that's a roll. I ain't got another. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna just go ahead and eat this roll too. But it is bitch. All of these rolls. Mm. How about that roll? Mm, mm. Bread and butter, yeah. Butter. I ate bread today. It was delicious. I ate a biscuit at the Comfort downtown on Main Street. Yeah, it's so good. Need to. Uh, that was what I had for breakfast. Have a cheeseburger. I haven't. It's been so long. I was thinking about it a couple of times this week. I think I just need to get it out of my system. Yeah. I ate a burrito. To eat a Sancho. <laughs> Still haven't right. ate a Sancho yet. Dude, yeah, that's yeah. like uh, anytime somebody says, Oh, I really want burritos, instantly <laughs> my brain goes, Taco Tierra Sancho's, let's go right now. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck your burrito. Fuck you and your burrito. I want a Sancho. And your burrito. Fuck you and your. Oh. I had a burrito last night. And it was. What, you, it was uh, just... what you reading there, Dirt Nap? Yeah. Nothing. Share with the rest of the class. You want to walk into this place you don't know about? Cassie sending you, like, boob pics? <laughs> I don't know. I have to look at the picture. <laughs> He's not opening that when Dubsy's he's sitting over there. Like, eh? Hey, look at that! <laughs> yeah, it was really good. So the last one that I got, I screenshotted, and then because Facebook has access to my entire life, um, on my phone, I opened my Facebook this morning, and it's that picture of her framed on my Facebook wall. I was like, <laughs> that moment of panic <laughs> set in. Did I just hit the chair button? I just, is this my wall right now? Is this my life? Because I had like 14 fucking notifications on Facebook. And one of those notifications was 300 likes. I know, dude. I don't picture. Oh, no. Oh, that would have been hilarious. Oh, no. She's very, she was in a very good mood when she sent me that picture. <laughs> that would have been shattered. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I'll tell you. It was funny. So I, I was like, whew, only you can see this. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. But but there's that share button taunting you right underneath yeah. it. <laughs> Scroll up. <laughs> Scroll up. I got to get away from it. <laughs> yep. Luckily. Mm. Luckily we got that. We got, yeah. That would have that would have been a bad news. I'd have got a whooping for that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god just I hear the reaction so mortified. i have i have a few and it's surprisingly it's only female friends that i've ever seen do it but i have a few female friends who separate times I'm, i get on facebook and i'm scrolling through my feed and i'm like whoa what the fuck and they accidentally shared nude photos of themselves and i'm like this is the greatest day Ever. Why can I have female friends like that? Uh, <laughs> I like screenshot. Oh yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah. And then like <laughs> I uh I've had a couple of friends. <laughs> I've had a couple of friends who I don't talk to on Messenger. And all of a sudden a message shows up and it's a picture and it's followed instantly by Oh my god. I clicked on the wrong person and I'm like, No you didn't <laughs> Smiley face, laughing, smiley face, laughing, smiley face. Bashful face. Eggplant, eggplant, eggplant. Water squirt, water. Oh, my God, dude. Dude, it was like, it, that's happened like three or four times. Nah, it's, and, and It's never happened to me. And each time I'm just like, that is hilarious. And they're like, oh, my God. 
Like, I totally sent that to the wrong person. And then all four of them, though, were like, well, at least it was you. Okay. It, like, because they know that I'm not going to, like, share it or, you know, post it. And I, it's not a big deal. Like, Well, you know, there's this PlayStation 4 gold version coming out soon. <laughs> just fine right on my fucking TV. I'll get you. I'll get you. I'm going to need you to go ahead and send him, that. It literally took him 15 seconds to put together oh, yeah. that you were blackmailing. Yeah. He was like, what is the PlayStation? Am I going to post this picture on PlayStation? That's like, like, how does that even work? This is my thought That's process. Cool. He was going to post it on PlayStation Network or he was going to like get it, fucking screenshot it and just have the PlayStation 4 as the fucking picture. Mm-hmm. Look at this. <laughs> like That's, have, have decals made. Yeah. Have went, a custom graphics He made. went into yeah. a rabbit hole that you ran went into way a too septic far. tank. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> went way too far. <laughs> That was full of shit. Yeah, that's so. not a rabbit hole, Nubsy. That's the sewer pipe. Yeah. That's, <laughs> well, it was a good idea, though. Nope. <laughs> Might as well. I do not concur. Do you concur? Why, do you use, why do you use such big words? Slow down. <laughs> what? No, I know what concur means. I fucking learned it from Leonardo DiCaprio in that movie, Catch Me If You Can. Do you concur, Doctor? I concur. <laughs> Look, I learned that word. Thank you, pop culture, for teaching me words. My name is Nubsy Slow. <laughs> Thank you, pop culture, for teaching me words like archipelago. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck is this coming from? I don't know, but that's gold. I, know, I, I can tell it. you right now that Tucker, when he listens to this episode, Dip. he's gonna be yeah, he, they, he's gonna latch onto that. He's gonna be singing that song <laughs> in the shop. <laughs> This week, dip. He's <laughs> dipping my hand into the river of ideas. Good job. It's because of positivity. About fucking time, goddamn! It's me and him carrying this motherfucker. I know, right? <laughs> Always. You just sit over there vaping on some fucking vape. <laughs> yep, it's delicious vape. And oh my god, I've got such a great Where story. Where do you think all the samples go of the dudes I have to juice? <laughs> into, into my flavor of the week. <laughs> That's how you come up with them. This week's flavor is Todd. <laughs> Todd is accompanied by a sweaty palm hand. <laughs> you just hit it with the hair dryer. <laughs> God damn. It. Warm it up a little bit. Warm but- it up, Chris. I'm about to. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Uh-huh. Was that was that kid in play? No. Crisscross. It yeah. was. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, oh, I do now. Well, Chris, that's what I was born to do. Chris Cross will make you jump. They were jump. great. Yeah. The Mac Dad will make you jump. They jump. were great. Daddy Mac will Let make me you just tell you, I, I'm going to tell you right now, that before those kids came out, sports teams had never sold so many jerseys. In their existence, when they hit those crisscross came New York out jerseys and shit, it didn't matter what Wasn't team. It? Yeah, the New York Mets, but then they started wearing like hockey jerseys mm. and football jerseys. Backwards. Yep, and sport like among kids, like that just exploded the entire market, <laughs> and they didn't make shit for that. <laughs> Damn. Well, I mean, it was just a fashion thing, and yeah, it was everybody loved doing it. Was backwards that? jerseys. Did you have a starter jacket? Backwards pants. Fuck yes, yeah, dude. I had a Steeler one. starter coat, Steelers, man. Yeah. The I pullover know. half zip that had the starter logo as the zipper. You got the front pocket Velcro. Fuck yes, I had Which that. Which one was yours? I had a Raiders one. Was a hand Raiders. Raiders. Oh, I, I also nice. had a um, uh, Celtics. Dolphins, baby. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I had a Steelers and a Celtics. I was a Marino mm. guy. So, yeah, it was the Dolphins for me. Who's your that. team now? Oh, whichever one's the best. I guess it's the Eagles. The Eagles. The Eagles are my team right now. Until <laughs> next year. Uh huh. Then it'll yeah, be. Hey, check no, this out. I actually like the Bears or my. I, yeah, I'm a Chicago sports guy. So and, uh, I like the Broncos because of Denver and I like yeah. the Nuggets. Yeah. When I lived in Vegas, best basketball team. I had a, I have a buddy named Ryan, who originally was a San Diego Chargers fan. Like that's where he was from. Okay. <clears throat> and then in 2002. He bought one of those spinning game wheels, you know, with the click, 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 like click, the prices, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
He bought one. It was, it's a wooden one, whatever. And he repurposed it and redesigned it. And he decided he was going to do something cool. Now, I, I lost contact with him around 2011, I'd say. Okay. But He's from I know that from 2002 to 2011, basically what he did was he created 31 slots on the board. And he left San Diego out for 2002. And he spun the wheel. And basically, every year, he spins the wheel in like, uh, right after the draft. So in like April. Uh huh. He spins the wheel, and that's his team for the next coming season. And he learns everything about them, learns their players, all this, gets jerseys, gets t shirts. That's the team that he rocks for that year, win or lose. And he's got to celebrate doing this. Like from 2002 to 2011, he got to celebrate like six Super Bowls. Huh. Nice. Just spinning a wheel. Spinning a wheel. All chance. Okay. Yeah. And and whatever team. That's fun. Uh, that, that sounds like fun. Whatever team was his team for that last year. Yeah. They come off the board. The next no year. more Cleveland Browns. <laughs> Oh God! If that if I did that and that wheel ended on Cleveland, oh. I would just go grab my gun. No, <laughs> I'd just be like, "Well, this is done." <laughs> um, that will make it. I, aren't they getting that quarterback? Aren't they going to get a quarterback that want, he's like? Dude, I just I want to be the face of Cleveland. Think think of how many quarterbacks they've had. But he's I don't know. But still, do you think they're going to try with him? Is that who you think? Well, they I don't got the think first they team. don't try. They try like hell. Did they or did They're they just already awful. Do, they they haven't done the draft yet. No, they? that's no. in April. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. So that's they what I'm saying. Don't it. you think they're going to go with that guy? Well, I mean, it's Cleveland, dude. They could. Pick. I know it's your enemy Cle- team. Cleveland could end up picking a guard that should have gone in the fourth round. Mm-hmm. I don't put anything past them. <laughs> I don't. That movie. Who wants hey, to trade for this hold pick? On. That movie Draft Day. How about you? Tennessee? I love the movie Draft Day, but it is the most high fantasy thing I've ever seen. To think that the Cleveland Browns could ever construct a deal of that manner. Okay. That, All right. Listen. All right. Tennessee Titans. <laughs> we'll give you our first round draft pick for for DeMarco, the next three years. Demarco Murray. <laughs> for the next three years. <laughs> That's it. That's the kind of deal that Cleveland would make. And you can you can have the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, too. <laughs> we don't use it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Cleveland rocks. Have you, have you ever been to Cleveland? Nope. No. It smells like refried ass. Mm. <laughs> it is awful. Okay. That city is a cesspool. The fucking Lake Erie caught on fire once. Okay. From all the shit in it. Damn. Caught on fire. Sweet. Recently? Like, uh, no, this was years ago, but Damn. the lake caught the fuck on fire. Damn, son. You know, outside of Philly. Water <laughs> caught on fire in Cleveland. <laughs> you don't understand what I'm saying. Water's supposed, not supposed to catch on fire. <laughs> Water caught on fire. If it was Pokemon, this would not be a correct battle. <laughs> That shit should have been extinguished. <laughs> should have never happened. You know what I just I was <laughs> just thinking about this motherfucker. You know what I was just thinking about? I was thinking about the day that I predicted the future. Um, a few weeks ago with Jacksonville. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then I predicted the future with the Royal Rumble. What's next, guys? What you got, Dirt Adamas? I don't know. I don't know. It'll come well, to here's me when it comes to me. I, I don't know. I can't. Who's just, winning the chamber? The elimination chamber. Roman Reigns, man. God damn it! It's yeah. That's who's gonna challenge Brock Lesnar? I mean, Braun. I would love it for it to be Braun Strowman. One on one, Braun and Brock. That would be fun. That could happen too. That could. Ha- it's either one of those two. I think it's gonna be a Goldberg versus Brock if it's Braun <laughs> versus Brock. Um, you know, I think Bra- uh, Braun Strowman is supposed to. Uh, I I also read that he's facing. Um, Sh- uh, Shane McMahon, or what? somebody. Or, uh, I thought somebody. Daniel Bryan was going to end up facing Shane. They're they're, they're building up doing, to that now. I don't know. They're different. they're having that rift because Shane just came out on Tuesday, called him out on all the shit, saying that he was living vicariously through Owens and Zayn. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was like, like, ooh, oh, oh, ouch, oh, oh, oh. oh. Do we need to put them up? <laughs> you you want to get do, these hands? Are you going to do it? Are you going to do it, Daniel Bryan? Are you going to hit him? Are you going 
hit him? Mm. Are you going to dive off something? Is he going to dive off something? It's going to be a hell in a cell match. Well, they both dive off something into each other. They grab each other by the back of the head and both jump off the cell. Fuck it up. (laughs) Concussion. Well. (laughs) And then Daniel Bryan kills Brie Bella. Belmont. Fucking guy. Oh. (laughs) It went dark. It went dark. It's so dark. <laughs> that's where you. that's where I was going. I, just, I still don't think he did it. No, I don't think he did. Who? Chris? Well. You don't think he did it? No. I think that he and his family were murdered. By enemies? Yeah. Sure. Huh. Every, here's what here's what, here's what everyone says. Here's what everyone says. Well, Kevin Sullivan didn't have anything to do with it. He wasn't even there. He was at a blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, right, because people have never employed hitmen ever in the history of ever. Right? Yeah, never, right. ever, ever. But they'd have been, I mean, man, I don't they'd know. They'd have been they, what? I don't know. They could have, they, there'd have been financial records and shit, but yeah, who what knows? What financial records? I don't know. On a cash transaction? Who's know. using their fucking PayPal or debit card to pay for a hitman? That's what Bitcoin exists Bitcoin, for. Yeah, That's what Bitcoin exists for. It's untraceable. Assassins. Yeah, which I laugh when everybody's all on this Bitcoin rage and all this, and I'm like, if you only knew what you were supporting, everything that you're supporting is the pure evil dark side of humanity. It's the deep web. You're supporting child sex trafficking. You're supporting illegal arms, illegal drugs, fucking just all kinds of human trafficking, contracts on people's lives. That is the only thing that Bitcoin is used for. You're not using Bitcoin to to purchase things. That's not what it's for. Not at all. And people are dumping more money into this, inflating the value, so that more people that understand what Bitcoin is for can utilize it in a better manner. Like the movie Taken, but in real life. Sure. Yeah. There's always a market for people. Always. If you don't have sex traffickers, uh, somebody needs organs somewhere. And a a decently healthy human being can provide quite a bit of money on the black market. Here, take half a Bitcoin to do this surgery. Boom. Kidney. Slash. Well, I'm thinking a kidney is probably going to cost you about two to three Bitcoins. 30 grand? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Sounds like fun. But think about this. Think about this. Do you think that there are plenty of people on a waiting list willing to pay $30,000 instead of waiting and possibly dying? And then you have people who who hit a certain age. They hit a certain age and they're deemed ineligible to be on waiting lists for organs. So, So now these people, some of these people may have quite a bit of money. And so they're like, eh, fuck the line. I can get it from here. Yeah, and but there's also and even with the cryptocurrency, this shit's going. You want on a tow? I can get you a tow. What time is it? Hell, yeah. I can get you a tow by three o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> so it's paint and all. I'm, I'm watching this series on Netflix called Dirty Money. Oh, and uh, yeah, we were watching that. It's it's so good. And the the one about the about Martin Scraley and the uh, Big Pharma and Big Pharma man, what mm-hmm. they've done to this country in the last ten years is just ridiculous mm-hmm. it's it is the and they dump all this cost on the insurance companies and it, it, through so, fake pharmacies and through yeah through shell company pharmacies yeah and mm-hmm. through and through increasing the price of drugs 700 percent yeah in the last 10 years yeah, and it's and it's and it's not drugs that anybody it's drugs that people need to survive. Insulin. They yeah. buy fucking diabetic. They buy care. the. They buy the fucking copyright and the the patent. They buy the yeah. What they were doing was buying the fucking. They were buying the companies that make stripping it. them yeah. all down to nothing. Dropping the R and D down to three percent when R and D and pharmaceutical was the 21. standard is twenty percent. Yeah. And they were dropping it down to three to five percent. Yeah. And, and so then so nothing. it's pure profit. So it's nothing. Yeah, they're and, not. And, and then all they did, anything new. yeah, they were not coming up with anything new. That all they were doing was just keeping the people on what they had, buying out companies like that. Stripping dude, that chick, fucking, the short seller uh-huh. chick, she's brilliant. Like that, yeah. I would love to have a conversation with that woman. You know who I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. The the black girl, or mm-hmm. like she's Indian or something. Like yeah. She she was cool as fuck about everything. She researches 
stock market and all this and she's what's called a short seller basically when a stock starts tanking she can swoop in she if if stocks were craps she plays the don't pass yeah yeah she's like she bets against the point yeah that's basically what it is and is very successful at it like she can predict when companies are about to tank break time (laughs) captain pee pee over here (laughs) that's the guy (laughs) piss break (laughs) down bitches dirt nap nap. yeah (sighs) fuck what a train wreck he is motherfucker like Amy Schumer looking at us (laughs) you're a train wreck (laughs) you're such a train wreck What a goon. It's crazy. I know. So what else has been going on? <clears throat> In the world? Yeah. Uh, well, you've been paying attention to? I've been paying attention to uh, wrestling videos, mostly. What you watching? Uh, wrestle Talk. Like with who? Uh, Ali Davis and uh, Luke Owens. Oh, it's right on. Yeah. Channel. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know those guys. I know who they are. I've been watching that. Just trying to figure out. Now, I've been working, so I've just been like not paying attention to the news or nothing. Fuck the news. Yeah, I don't like it. It's garbage. <laughs> it doesn't tell me nothing. Now, it's, I know. Well, it's, well, that and they lie about every goddamn thing. Yeah. <laughs> don't tell us nothing that we need to know. No. No. Yeah. Hell no. Like, uh, like everything, like the statistics, the, the stats. <laughs> the, 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 yeah, I can't say that word. <laughs> oh, Try it again. The statistics. <laughs> I'm so sad that Dirt Nap's not in here right now. He'll hear it later. Oh. The, word, uh, the other word I can't really pronounce that well is hieroglyphic. Hieroglyphic? Yeah, but I, so I got a joke. Hollow, where, hologlyphic? Hieroglyphic. <laughs> I got a joke where I use a hieroglyphic, but it's like the punchline is different from the actual setup. And I use a different type of form of writing. <laughs> and this is, this is, The joke is, your mama's so old, her sets tape was recorded on papyrus paper. <laughs> But I say papaya's paper because I can't pronounce hieroglyphic. <laughs> That's the joke. You can't you can't pronounce papyrus. <laughs> I said it, papyrus. 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 Dude, Why you're missing this train wreck. Oh my god. Why is Chef Boyer saying papyrus? Papyrus. Papyrus. It's papyrus. Papyrus. There you go. Yeah. Hey, what's the name of the term for when you're looking at numbers? Stats. What's the full word? Statistics. <laughs> what? <laughs> I had a speech impediment when I was growing up. <laughs> you have a speech impediment as an adult. I know, but I didn't. I, I, told I was I just about to left. say, why are you saying that shit? Past tense. <laughs> had. I had a speech had. impediment. No, you didn't. Well, you yeah. still have. <laughs> it's present day. And then, hey, why do you say papyrus? Papyrus? Yeah. A papyrus. <laughs> but, but why do you say it? Oh, because I can't say hieroglyphic. What? <laughs> hieroglyphic. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I'm not saying it again. <laughs> say it again please say it again papyrus paper yeah it's no I don't know what do they put on the walls in the pyramids though cave markings <laughs> okay in the pyramids what do they what do they call them the Egyptian writing what is it called scriptures <laughs> nope that's in the bible okay. I'm trying to think what you mean right now I don't, I don't get what you're saying well you just said it what, 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 what was that you just said it. Hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics? Hieroglyphics. Was it? Good. I'm so glad. I'm so happy. I'm the train wreck. Yeah, fuck you. Shit. Vintage dirt now, Dave. Dude, he's the fucking challenger explosion over here. God damn. I'll bring quality to the you world. You do. You do. You bring quality to my life. Entertainment. I am a very... I am a very positive negative person. Positive negative? <laughs> Gotta have a yin and yang. He's a charge and post. Yin and yang. He's charging posts. Yeah. I'm a battery. Posts. Just applying life savings. Posts. 
What was that? Supplying life savings, not what I wanted to Supplying say. Supplying life savings. No. He's like, a 401k. I re- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mimsy Slow is the 401k of people. That's right. I'm here to save y'all days. And I'm a positive you said save y'all dicks? Save y'all days. He said he's here to, to suck them. y'all dicks. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> suck y'all dicks. That shit's going to be recorded for everybody to fucking hear. And Dina's going to get guys. jealous. Thanks, guys. <laughs> everybody's going to fucking know. Thanks, guys, I'm for to, me. I'm here to <laughs> save the day. And everybody's going to know he meant to say save the dick. That's what he meant to say. No, you said you're here yeah. to suck everybody's dick. <laughs> I meant to save the day. Dude, I never said that. Why? Wait, is wait that... to the playback. We, we will. Alexa. <laughs> what did. <laughs> I don't think she's on right now. No, I got her, I got her turned off. Okay. Good. Good. Uh-huh. Odessa. <laughs> Aaliyah. Doing that at the fucking job so much. Allegra. Like several people were uh huh the shit out of people. It's so good. It's so fucking funny, man. Just all the time. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Alyssa. Like he's trying to get me earlier a little bit with it. And they're going, uh-huh. You were uh huh me yeah. earlier. I wasn't trying. I actually did. You were doing it. Yeah, you were you were. Uh-huh. Look at that look of contempt. <laughs> no, it's cool. <laughs> Disdain Dave. Dis- <laughs> I love Nubsy Slow. He's the wonderfulest. <laughs> look, you learned a new word today. Another one. Concur. Another new word. No, you learned that. You learned that a long time ago. Yeah. Catch me if you can. He was talking about wonderful. DiCaprio. Wonderlust. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yep. God damn it. German. My niece is taking German. She takes it. Um, eighth grade German. It's fucking at Helfrick Park. I'm like, why? Damn. What's that? I didn't say Spanish to high school. Yeah, she's in eighth grade. Dude. She's starting. She's starting. Well, the thing is, she's going is to have an actually... associate's degree when she graduates high school. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there, yeah, like, dude. There are schools now that are starting kids out with other languages in kindergarten. Damn. That's smart though. That's the because best that's the time to learn. You're yeah. learning the language that you speak regularly now. This is the, also the time to learn other languages. Yeah. Yep. It's harder once your brain is formed like past like 12, 13 and then it's a box or a whatever, you know, however they however you say box in whatever other language you're going to learn. <laughs> that's it. Boxo. Boxo. El, el boxo. <laughs> El Tapagrafo. You know Spanish, don't you? Yeah, I know a little bit. Like a little bit? Like, like, like poquito. You, you know, like half? Like, you know, like he half. speaks it as well as he does English? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody. About 65 the Spanish people in the Latin community doesn't have any what idea what he's saying he either. Say? Yeah, a poquito. Uh, Me amo. Me amo. Nabzito. Me amo Nabzito. Me amo Nabzito. Repito las palabras, por favor. <laughs> Say, what the fuck did you just say, man? <laughs> you and that cup. No, oh, it wasn't the cup. It was the phone. It oh, was god bad. damn. It's always no, something. Professional. Did you just get that phone? Yep. Gonna be fucked up. You said, fuck this phone. Yeah. Black Friday. I was a bear riding a unicycle on that shit. Nice. Yep. Nice. That's how I feel. <clears throat> I'm just going through life like that. Nice. Like a bear. Nice. So like a, a life one. like a large game. <laughs> yeah, sure. They get to take care. Every- they don't get to have fucking everything. Ooh. You know, I don't care that gay dudes identify themselves as bears. It's my spirit animal. I see you could still fucking have. You can have it. You can have the rainbow. They can make anything. There's a there's bits about that. They can make anything they want gay. Gay guys can make anything they want gay. Well, that's how like they just that was the whole porn. Thing. Shoot a porn wearing fuck in a duck blind swastikas. Yeah. yeah, and in a duck blind, like that was the whole board. that yeah. was the whole joke about the whole like the rallies in Virginia. They were like, just have the gay community start putting swastikas on their rainbow flags. That shit will die out quicker than, than anything. Just every gay porn that they shoot for the next six Kyle months, Kyle Hitler is just is just dudes <laughs> sucking each other off and fucking from here up and, Nazi regalia, yeah. like just from the waist up. <laughs> From the waist down, it's just and then dude, throw in some just, clan hoods, just ball gags and fucking the coo, the everything. Coo, the Ku Cum Clan, yeah, mm-hmm. right, Take exactly. Everything. Just make it super, super, and, and yeah, dude, because guys, people that are that anti anything are definitely anti gay. <laughs> this usually the way. Speaking it Speaking of anti gay, have you seen this fucking preacher? Nope. That is. <laughs> 
Oh my Who god. You about? There's this preacher, I can't think of his name, but there's YouTube videos, and all he does is go on and on to his congregation about gay people and the L- he says he goes, if you say to me, LGBT community, I'm going to tell you to get out of my face. And he's telling his congregation, like, if you if you think that gay rights and blah, blah, blah is a real thing and should be should exist, he's like, get out of this congregation now. And it's just like, yep. Well, good. Uh, he's identifying, at least he's identifying himself. More people that feel that way should say it. So they can all get together my, and move to fucking Wyoming or something. But what we have live found. There, what we have from, but what we have found, though, is the reality of it is that people who are the most openly gay, especially in the religious community, it's just a matter of time before they're found in a hotel room with a male prostitute doing meth. Yeah, dude, anybody that th- thinks about... Yeah, they think about gay sex more than much, gay people do. That much to hate it? They have a reason. There's a reason there. Because they you, want that dick and their religion says it's wrong. Well, or there, there's a whole list of, yeah, why am I buried in the underneath this pile of clothes in this closet just <laughs> hiding away from the whole world? Hey, look, there's Tom Cruise. Yep. Hey, <laughs> Tom. Closet. Yeah. So it's, it, it, okay. there ain't no telling, but it's always like that. It's always anybody that thinks about ass, dicks and butts and the joining of the two that much. That they hate sir. it. Oh, that look, they man, hate I, it. You hey, can't look, hate something without I love, loving it. I love butt sex. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing it with a dude. Nah, <laughs> lady, not a dude. Okay, okay. <laughs> but what I'm talking about, the dude's doing it. He's talking about docking. I'm talking about oh, that's dude. What he's doing right now. Dude on dude. <laughs> he's sword fighting. Broing, broing out. Jousting like <laughs> ultimate broing but out. Scratch. <clears throat> ultimate broing out. It's not gay. We're bros. That's cool. Ultimate broing out, man. Okay. Just, that's whatever. pretty much. That's pretty much how I imagine every fraternity in the world is. Probably. <laughs> they do. It's a, a bunch of. They dudes do a hug, that, the secret handshake, and at the end of it, they have to they slap touch penises. Yeah, they <laughs> touch just make, they make the just penises boom. kiss. That's just boom. They slap. <laughs> Alpha beta psi. <laughs> like, they just, have to do it. <laughs> whenever, whenever I hear anybody talk about fraternities, I'm just like, now pay your dues, bitch. <laughs> Like, oh, you did a bunch of gay shit to earn friends and paid a lot of money. You paid a lot of money and did a bunch of gay shit to have friends. I don't know. I don't know. I hope I hope everybody's experience wasn't that way. I hope there were some people that actually got something good out of being in a fraternity. Because a lot of people are in them for some reason. I just it, George Bush was Yeah, a because they're 17 and 18 and 19 years old, and everybody's so goddamn unsure of themselves at that age. So that's the point where we're going to put them into a, mic, like a big melting pot. And Here, drink some Michelob. <laughs> Ultra. Yeah. Where did, where's your life going? You got Michelob Ultra. I brought Everclear. Oh. You, so nobody's going to remember tonight. Watch, we can do whatever. Did you guys ever watch the Fried Aliens episode of uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force? <laughs> uh, yeah. No, His dad didn't. owns a dealership. I still say that about... <laughs> there's the, the son of this, the <laughs> Robbie Kent Jr. <laughs> I, I make that nobody ever fucking gets it, but I still make that. His dad, don't, dude, His His dad, dad owns, owns a, a dealership. dealership. Nobody ever gets it, but I'm glad that I'm glad. That <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I'm all, I love Aqua Teen. I loved it too. Uh, I love that show. The, da- the Danzig episode is one of my favorites. <laughs> the fucking robot came with the fucking house, and robot. I was fucking gone. Robot. If I he, find out he's over here, he I'm gonna be eating my me ce- out. <laughs> he goes, I'll be eating my cereal out of the bottom of your fucking skull, Kristalnik. Yeah. <laughs> he's so loud. He is so scary, and he never wears a shirt. You make our walls bleed right now. <laughs> <laughs> dancing is forbidden. <laughs> da, 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 dancing is forbidden. <laughs> the the thousands of years ago. I love that shit, man. That's so. Funny. I I was very I sad when to. they took Doctor Weird out of the intro. <laughs> Gentlemen, behold! Yeah. Gentlemen, uh, it, it's just me. Shut up, Steve. <laughs> Now, grab that... He goes, you, he goes uh, you see that giant snake on my head? Yeah. Now, grab that stick and agitate the hell out of it. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I love it. Now, grab my large bottle of French perfume and spray him in the eyes, because that's how it happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Rabot. Oh, that was the first episode, man. That's oh, so good. What happened to my freaking car? God oh, damn, Carl. What happened to your car? I don't know. I just came out here and found it this way. I just came out here for freaks. Carl, calm down. It's cool, man. We're detectives. Clear the crime scene and let me think. The MCP Meteors episode. did it. <laughs> That'll be twenty dollars. For some reason, I just want candy. I'm gonna take another pass at it. And it's still red on here, and it's mocking me. Which one of you's been playing that song? I, I want candy for like a freaking week straight. I got a loogie the size of Lake Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> at the at the dumpster. I mean warehouse. <laughs> I got these bunnies. You it's, want chocolate or or uh, what is it, chocolate or strawberry? Are you kidding? Cream. Both. Yeah, right. <laughs> mm. I don't want candy. I, I need, need candy. candy. And when you need something, it's a responsibility. <laughs> oh, bubblegum and taffy. <laughs> Tic Tacs from a sweetheart did you ever, Sandy. Which, did, you, did you ever listen to uh, the guy that voiced MCP Pants? Yeah. Uh, b- 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 mm-hmm. Hold on. Chris Backpack. Uh, cr- uh, MC Chris. Yeah. My backpacks got jets. I'm Boba, the fat. I bounty hunt for Jabba Hut to finance my vet. <laughs> That's it. He nice. did. That was yeah, he's the yeah, only dude. one that I know. That That's bars. the only jam that I know by MC Chris. For sure. That's one Straight bars. It, snap stories, man. Straight you crack bars. me up. You're funny. The guy that was, what was he thinking? If a country boy could survive? Yeah, yeah. That, that got me. Yeah. <laughs> He Am I missing picture, something? Yeah, he yeah. took a picture on his, his snap story oh, of man, this I old guy sitting there. Story, uh, this old guy sitting there looking like fucking <clears throat> Sam Elliott's second cousin and shit. And he's like, he's pondering whether or not a country boy truly can survive or <laughs> yeah. something uh, like li- pondering life's question. Pondering real best, life's question. The best question or the real question or whatever. The question of life. Yeah. yeah. Can a country boy survive? Yeah. Will the can a country boy really survive or something like that, man? I'd fucking died laughing. That was good. Yeah. I liked it. I liked it. See, when you don't talk and you're not involved, man, it's just <laughs> it's hilarious, dude. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you're funny. you're funny as shit. That's good, man. I know. I have enjoyed. I have enjoyed your snap story this this week. Thanks, Darren. I need to get on that. I need to. I got great snaps. You you make the windows for the Toyota Camrys. And I appreciate you. Uh, I think maybe. Yep, <laughs> they do. They say PWG on them. How does he do that at the bowling alley? Yeah, grease and lanes. Uh, what? <laughs> we talked about it. I'm breaking the fourth wall. Sorry, oh. guys. Yeah, hmm. I'm talking about Master Hayes, Rutherford <gasps> B. Are you related to Rutherford <laughs> Hayes? The, Rutherford Hayes, the, the president. Uh, yes. No. I'll go let you get it out. Go ahead. Sorry for interrupting. No. Damn it. <laughs> so close. What's his name? Rutherford B. Hayes, the president. He did. He did that all right. Yeah, yeah. he did. I know. He. I know. He. He, he jacked it up. Yeah. I said Rutherford B. Hayes. You said Rutherford B. Hay. You said Hayde. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's an E S on that bitch. All right. There is. <laughs> there is. You're rubbing off on me. See, you're right? a combination of the people that hang out with you the most. Man. He's 401k in your life right now. Oh. <laughs> 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 Call back. Yes. To this episode. After yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God <The> damn! damn. <laughs> I want to. I just want to see somebody out. One notice one of us, and we have a story like somebody just went like <laughs> to me, and I'm like, "Thank you, thank you." It's not just me. It's not just Bodo, dude. Nobody's gonna recognize you for at least seven more years. I'm cool with that. I'm cool. It's gonna come though. It's all going to happen at once. I'm cool with that. It's okay. But let's push. Let's push, man. I was watching a motivational video about this guy that's doing that. He was talking Time out. to a group I hate of that the month of February only has 28 days because we're not going to hit like a. We're not going to get a higher <laughs> download mark this month. Damn, that's awesome. Yeah, we can still. Yeah. We just have to download. We just have to get more downloads in the 28 days than we got to get the on there months. and start clicking it ourselves. Sure. Yeah. Put in the work, baby. Anyway, so you, you were saying you, you saw this guy. You know, he's talking about wanting to... He was a stand-up comedian, 
and he wanted to get on the Letterman show, and that was his goal. And he told everybody about it. And he worked, and he finally worked, and he said he was going to do it in a year. And he, at the end of the year, he didn't do it. But what he did was he lived <clears throat> during that whole year, and he did stand up, and he did it over and over and over again. And he got out there, and he put himself out there, and he really took his craft seriously because he had that goal, and he knew in order to get to that place that he had to get at, that he had to be at to get on the Letterman show, he had to really up his game, and he had to be a professional. And it didn't happen in that first year. So he said he'd give himself another year. And what he did was he lived another year. And he did that. And <clears throat> grew, and it took him five as opposed to one. But he made it on to Letterman on the fifth year. And he still and he did what he said he wanted to do. And that was his main goal. Even though it didn't, even though it took a little longer. Yeah, it was just, it was amazing. That's where we got to be. We got to do that. You know. We got to do that. As, as far as, as far as if what you're trying to as long as you're just trying to be the best and live and 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 get to that point where you got to have the the a goal to live forward to to look forward to 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 strive towards and if you can if you have that even if it takes a little longer than as long you're going to be living and and doing the best that you can to get there so go go for it yeah why not Shit. I like that. Yeah. yeah, it was good. It was a good video, and I really just yeah loved it. Uh huh. <laughs> uh -huh. No, that was good. Yeah. Well, the you know the great thing about doing the show now I have goals, but when I started the show, I didn't give a shit. I didn't care if twenty people a week listened to it. Didn't care like. And I think that that's why I've stuck with this the way that I have, even though I've had to take time off here and there for different reasons. But, you know, it's it's still there. Now I have goals for it, but I'm still able to hang on to that initial mind state of, I'm doing this for me. Yeah. Like, you know, like I love having you two in here with me every week now. You know, I love that it's become our show. Yeah, very. I'm still doing this for me. I'm doing this because it entertains me, gives me a good outlet. I get to, and apparently, people like it. Yeah, you know, like, and that's what throws me off the most. I yeah, like I still see the number of downloads. Can you know we're we're still at around like 400 downloads a day, and I'm like, that's crazy God. to me. Is like, it just one person? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I can see the IP addresses and locations, like the countries that they're in and stuff, and it's countries. Mm -hmm. like, so there's a fan base around international. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It has been. So we gotta find out where this is at. This, like, this show hit international after about two months, oh. three months. Like it was, you know, there. I'd get like, no joke. I we we have a small fan base in Kazakhstan. Like there are like the, the number one exporter yeah, is potassium. potassium, dude. I yes! it, <laughs> is that off a of board? Kazakhstan is greatest country in, in the, the world. world. All of the countries, countries are run, run by, by little, little girls. girls. Kazakhstan number one exporter of potassium. potassium. All other countries have inferior potassium. potassium. Did you see in the Olympics? <laughs> in the uh, I think it was the 2008 Olympics, a girl from Kazakhstan won her event, and whoever was supposed to get the Kazakh national anthem did a quick search. <gasps> no. Oh, played they that. played it at the Olympics, dude. They played the Kazakhstan national anthem from Borat. At the Olympics, and this girl is standing there smiling on the podium, like, "What the fuck is this? <laughs> we don't export potassium." <sighs> Cleanest hookers in the region. <laughs> My sister is number four prostitute in all of Kazakhstan. <laughs> She's my sister. Nice. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he introduced me. He goes, this nice. is number four prostitute in all of Kazakhstan. Uh, she is my sister. She is my nice. sister. <laughs> One day she she teasing Bilo locked in his cage. Like you never get this. You never get this. La, 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 la. And one day he break out the cage and he get this high five. High five. <laughs> I love 
the way people patronized him. It was so good. That was what was so funny about that was his ability to keep straight. When he went he, he to went the dinner party with the Southern family and had Lunell come, come in dressed I, um, I, I feel like he's going to marry Lunell. I could see that. Dana? No. Lunell. <laughs> Lunell. I know Lunell, yeah. She's uh, great. She's the- I fucking died. I was like, Oh my God! They have no idea, and she is dressed like a prostitute. And he straight brought this black-looking prostitute, or this prostitute-looking black woman, into this Southern family's dinner party home, like their plantation house. <laughs> and she's just out there, just uh, ghetto as fuck. And yeah, it's so great. I love that. <laughs> Did the retard escape? <laughs> Oh, oh it's that's, very, that's so nice. It's very nice that you Allow let the retard at the, at the table. <laughs> no, he's not retarded. He's retarded. It's just like <laughs> he is so frustrated when, when, they, when he insults that dude's wife. He goes, he goes. The men in my country go crazy for her. Her not so much. Oh, and then no, when he has the meeting one. with the feminists, and he's oh. like, I could no longer pay attention to what this old man was saying to me. <laughs> he's thinking about Pam Anderson. <laughs> no, when, there's one when he's doing it on HBO where he's in a country club, like in Texas or some shit, and he ends up singing a song called Throw the Jew Down the Well. <laughs> so my country can't be free! <laughs> oh, dude, it's so funny. I mean, it is, and he's got that whole bar singing along with him, talking about throwing Jews down wells. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? And that's you know, all. The funniest just thing is, too, Sasha Baron Cohen is yeah, Jewish. He's, yeah, he's and, Jewish. And the funniest thing is, you know, like, when I went to see Borat in the theater, we had three uh, friends who were who were exchange students at the time, and they're from Israel. Nice. And so every time that he was speaking, uh. Kazakh on the screen. He was actually speaking Yiddish, like Hebrew. Okay. And these dudes are laughing harder than anyone in the fucking oh, theater. Oh, because they're saying because they, cause they understand what. He, yeah, they understand what he's saying. Do you know Yiddish? No. Mm. <laughs> mm. I bet he knows Spanish and English. Yeah, I bet you would be a. He really barely good, knows English. Oh. He. I bet he would be a really good Creole speaker. Because oh they don't really know those yeah. either. Like he could go. He could go. He could go down into the bayou today, and they would think that he's one of their own. I'll probably be there. Just guy, honestly, based on first impressions, <laughs> at least yes. <laughs> like, what's up, motherfuckers? They're like, oh, oh, we got us a Yankee here. Yeah. <laughs> he comes out with some Indiana accent, you know, some Tom Petty sounding John <laughs> Cougar Mellencamp. He's like, come on, boys. Yeah. Doing, like, why are the fighting for, man? What are y'all doing, man? Something like that. I lived out on Red Bank Road one time. <laughs> <laughs> I got a southern accent. That's how far you have to go out oh. in Evansville. Anything past that, everybody sounds hillbilly as fuck. You go to Mount Vernon, all that shit. It's like, whoa, whoa. Anything past Red Bank. Out, out into Chandler and Booneville, even. Oh, uh, Elberfeld. They say Bowl. Elberfeld, Linville. Yeah, it's, it's funny. It's a whole different. It is funny. World. Like, I know that I have a bit of it. Like, whenever I listen to the playback and stuff, I'm like, man, my accent came out really thick there. But mm-hmm. it is nothing like. Boy, the- tell you what, boy. <laughs> boy. Warsh. Same you go like you that. go across the bridge and it's like you hit a whole different world. Like this is Henderson. Why is and I'm like, a, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> why is there an electronic bull? <laughs> We're on, at the Dollar General. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Mo and why does he have a Mart? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, gross. Henderson, Kentucky is gross. Man. I don't even like that pizza place, the wings and pizza place. Bees, big bees, Mr. Bees, Mr. Mr. Bees, bees, wings yeah. and things. I haven't tried them. Yeah. I heard it was good though. They're shitty. <laughs> they're not very nice people. Well, there goes a the potential I, advertiser. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> but hey, we just like like tell them don't go to episode ninety five. <laughs> Is it ninety five? Well, yeah, he even oh, knew what man. episode we were yeah. on today. Damn, I'm on, I'm on it. Look at him. I'm on it. Mm. Did we, wait? Did you say it at the beginning of the show? I did not. Oh. I, I don't ever say the episode number. <laughs> Yeah, 
We just list them. We list them on the line, on the internet. On the webs. On the, on the, yeah. We must be doing this for 30 episodes. We've yeah, been doing this. Have. Yeah. yeah. This, this same format's 30 mm-hmm. episodes. The three of us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Almost. Wow. So, wow. Owen Wilson. Yeah, I knew. I knew. And he's coming up on the two year. Broke nose. He's coming up on a two year anniversary. Yep. Wow. Damn, this month. Yeah. What day? Uh, let me check here. Fuck I think seventeenth. I'm gonna say the seventeenth. I'm gonna say that. Wow. It may be the twelfth or thirteenth. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> what the fuck? Wow. We gotta keep the air. Oh god damn, dude. Nubsy is like the keeper of the Bulldog Unchained information. February seventeenth, two thousand sixteen, episode one. Yeah. God damn. I went wow. back and listened to it like a week ago, so that's why I know. <laughs> but still, the fact that you retained that knowledge. I retain a lot of knowledge. I just don't say it. <laughs> I, did, I don't. And when he does, it comes out jumbled as fuck. It's, it comes out Creole. <laughs> what? It comes. What? <laughs> you just made Dirt Nap glitch. <laughs> like, that, you just shut him off. That's a glitch in the Matrix. <laughs> Somebody, somebody get the All choker. Right, I'm back. Uh, I'm back. <laughs> bring, bring. Crawl. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta shake something. <laughs> My oh. arm is tingling. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks, man. I appreciate you doing that, Timmy. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I think I gotta stop intermittent fasting. <laughs> I just got really lightheaded for a second. My blood sugar's too low. <laughs> you just, I think you just gave me Lunchables, diabetes. Bro. I think you just gave me diabetes with all that Lunchables talk. No, man. No, man. <laughs> Cause, like, if your sugar gets low, diabetes people, like, they eat fucking... There's uh, plenty of sugar, <laughs> there's plenty of sugar in said, those crackers. I love that he said diabetes people. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they eat a camera. I know this. My dad's diabetic. I know. Diabetes oh, you mean like, there you go, diabetics? Yeah. Diabetes people. <laughs> I like that. He, he fucking Wilford Brimley and <laughs> <laughs> Nubsy Sloan. I have diabetes. Uh, I like the diabetes <laughs> people. <laughs> I like the family guy, Wilford Brimley. <laughs> <laughs> Grumpy cat is Wilford Brimley is the best too. <laughs> <laughs> diabetes. <laughs> I have diabetes. No, it's not Grumpy Cat. It's just a big fluffy. I know. I know. Yeah, just yeah. a big fluffy cat that just, looks like him. And he just does it. And it's like, whoa. Diabetes. Whoa. Fancy. <laughs> Look at you, Internet, impressing me every single day. Yeah. The entirety of the world's knowledge and information and history is available. And here I am laughing at fucking cat videos that are making fun of Wilford Brimley. <laughs> you gotta, like, you have downtime, yeah. though. Uh-huh. You can't be, like, on all, all the time. Have you seen the cat that has Down syndrome? Uh-uh. Oh I'm looking it up, God. though. Dude, oh. <laughs> Dude, oh. Is it the one with the tooth? It's like this. The tooth. His whole note, like his whole face. Yeah, and of, one of the two. Cute, cute fucking cat. And his eyes are... Cru- cute. He's huh? a cute fucking cat. He's a cute cat. Yes. Huh. New that cute cat's kid. adorable. New cute, 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 cute cat. It's cute. In the face? Yes. No, it's coat it's- shiny. It's adorable. Good thing it's coat shiny. No, that cat is adorable. Have you seen the cat that can't just take little bites? And it just it opens its mouth and just takes this whole like Scoop. tries to fit it the It looks whole like hole. a it looks like a payloader. Yeah. <laughs> exactly what it looks like. like. What the fuck are you doing, cat? Calm down. Did you find the cat with Down syndrome? Yeah. Like the cutest cat ever. That cat is cute as fuck. Show deck. Look. Yeah. That cat is cute as fuck. Hold on. I can't see it yet. No, it's okay. I see it. It's just... Let me see. <laughs> How do you not think that cat is adorable? It's yeah. It's <laughs> looking cute as fuck. Well, there you go, people. If you have kids with Down syndrome, Dirt Nap is Loves not a fan. Them. Douche. He's not a fan. <laughs> Douche Silo Dave over <laughs> here. <laughs> the funny, I thought it was like... like it reminds me of like <laughs> Bubba or Devon when they yell "What's up?" <laughs> you know, ah, like he's just saying that the whole time. Did you? I, what the fuck was that, dude? The cat's tongue was just relaxed as shit, and his face was fucking. Oh my god! Thank god. <laughs> what time is it? I gotta. It's like four minutes till two. Okay, cool. Whew, boy. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was rough. Down syndrome cat. <laughs> like, wait, I can't Why? see. Mm. Wait, wait, I can't see. Hold on. Let me, okay, okay. Don't they have a test? Don't, don't they have a, a test for that now? For what? For that. If you can, if, for people. What do you, how do you feel about that? Oh, yeah. I think, uh, look, like I have how said laid it. Into... I am all for the singularity coming, like the merging of man and machine. I am all for it. And I think that anything that they can do in utero to fix any problems or identify... First of all, why, like, look, I understand that people who have special needs children, yes, they love them, but you don't think that they want better for that kid? That would be crazy to think that. I want to be ridiculed and to shit. be okay with having placing physical limitations on me. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Like right. you know, like yeah. I'm not saying Word. they don't love their children, but Word. I'm saying if they were, if they were honest about it, like if you ask anyone who has kids, the one thing that most people say Health. when they're pregnant, yes, I just want my child to be healthy. I just want my child to be healthy because if there are any types of deformities or anomalies like that. There are major health concerns that come right. with that. Right. Like Down syndrome, the one of the statistics is they rarely make it past 30. Well, now they're living long, but used to be 30 years old mm-hmm. was a marker point. Like that was about shit. it. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're getting to the end. I've heard that too. That's terrifying. I thought, I think anyway. And I'm, yeah. I'm one of those people. I, I honestly, I, I, I hold that viewpoint like, no parent should ever have to bury their child. Right. Like, that's just... I agree That's with the most you. awful thing I can ever imagine. For anyone, yeah. Yeah, under any circumstance. That's just crazy awful. But <clears throat> I think that if they have ways... First of all, religion needs to stay out of legislation. Completely. It needs to be out. It needs to be outlawed. It needs to be just... It need, to me, that's some punishable by death offense right there. If you are preventing the quality of life for humanity as a whole because of your fucking book, fuck you. You don't deserve to live here. You don't. Mm-hmm. If you are if you are impeding the progress of humanity as a whole, you don't belong here. Because your imaginary friend in the sky says, oh, no, like stem cell research. No, you shouldn't be using stem cells. Look, this shit's going to happen whether you want it to or not. Abortion's legal. And now they can take stem cells from the people themselves. They can take healthy stem cells, re-engineer them, reintroduce them, and they could start to cure things like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's and all kinds of other fucking disorders. That's coming. It's coming. Dude, I honestly, I feel that within five to ten years, Parkinson's and Alzheimer's are no longer a thing. Really? Yes, Absolutely. By by well, I'll say twenty thirty. By twenty thirty, we'll give it twelve years. By twenty thirty, if Parkinson's and Alzheimer's are still a thing, and do you think even people with Parkinson's now will be cured of it? Yes. Oh wow. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah, they're working. Like there are th- they look what look what they've discovered that CBD oil does with Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's even. What do you mean CBD oil? What does it do with? Parkinson's. You haven't seen that? An mm-hmm. ex cop, there's a video on YouTube. An ex police officer. He has Parkinson's now. Like he's an older man. And when I think it's his brother shows up and he's got a film crew with him. But the man is on his couch laying down just tremors. And he can barely speak. And they sit him up on the couch and they put like five drops of C B D oil under his tongue. And within, have you seen it? No. Oh, within like 30 seconds to a minute, he levels out. He can speak. He can move. Like, he's amazed. He's like, I have control over my motor functions. Huh. Huh. What the fuck more do you need to see? What? Anyone, any member of Congress, anyone that makes laws, anyone that is responsible for the legislation of this country, if you can watch that video... And you say, no, it's evil. There's no place for it here. It's a narcotic. You should have a bullet put in your head right then and there, and it should be aired live on national television. You are a detriment to humanity. Fuck you. You don't get to be here anymore. You don't get to play. 
You're holding us back. You're holding us back from like aliens actually coming to us. Dude. I can't say that I believe it, but the thought process of the ancient alien, like the ancient astronaut theory, that we may possibly be a genetics experiment by other races, by other species. Yeah. It makes more sense than any Bible or holy book that's ever been written. Close. I'm done with that. You know, is open. And I think that at some point they realized they were like, why do they keep worshiping us? We are not gods. What can we do to make them understand this? And then as humanity continued to progress, they were just like, fuck these assholes. And now where like whereas thousands of years ago there used to be constant contact with all of these ancient civilizations, now they don't. They're just like, fuck these things. This is a failed experiment. This laboratory is bust. Yeah. Oh my God. All we did was created a new cockroach and they've spread across their planet and they're ruining everything. And would, if you created something like that and it got out of your control, would you want to associate with it? Or would you just be like, eh, fuck that. Let it weed itself out. Fuck. Yeah, right? Yeah. Eventually they'll die out. Huh? Now, <clears throat> with the whole SpaceX thing, so Elon Musk wants to transport people to Mars and begin colonizing. Cool. Along with being on a different planet and learning how the planet itself functions and with the progression of technology through that time and everything. Because here's a fact. Right now, with our current rocket technology, it only takes 300 days to get from Earth to Mars. So less than a year, and the first crew can be there. And if they stagger this to where every six months a new mission is going... And you've got six months to set up, you know, the tents and everything, get things ready. And then the next group comes and they bring more supplies. Their living quarters are already prepared. And now everyone's working collectively to build more. And every six months, you've got more supplies and more people coming. And these people are going to become Martians. Like they will no longer be Earthlings. They will be Martians. And the more time that you're on the planet, the more time passes that progresses through technology, you're going to learn how the planet works. We're going to develop new technology. And then we get into terraforming. So maybe in a couple hundred years, they're able to turn Mars into a new Earth. What if they can artificially create the atmosphere and recreate all of the, like, our our air is nitrogen rich. Everybody's like, oh, you, we breathe oxygen. No, actually, we don't. Oxygen only, sur like, o oxygen only uh, makes up about, what is it? Twenty two percent. Is it two? Two or twenty? It, yeah. Is it two in there? Yeah, there's a two in there. Like it may be two percent. It's we breathe nitrogen. Yeah. <laughs> like the majority of our air that we breathe is nitrogen. Too much oxygen and shit catches on fire and shit well, looks like a dinosaur. Not only that, but oxygen get pure oxygen that they pipe through in planes. Like if a plane is going down and they give you the oxygen mask, do you know why they do that? Because it gets you high. Exactly. Damn, son. Pure oxygen will make you high that's and eventually will make you black out. <laughs> that's why everybody's facial expression in the car, in the plane crash things that you open up is they're all. They're calm as fuck. They're just, they, they don't look like, ah! They're just Fight like. Fight Club, baby. <laughs> they talk about it in Fight Club. Yeah. No, we don't talk about Fight Club. It's the number one rule. What? <laughs> but that was the movie, though. Yeah, you don't talk about Fight Club. Who doesn't? Nobody talks about Fight Club. Yeah, we do. That was a long time ago. But we don't talk We're about Fight Club. We're past that now. I can't talk we about went, Fight Club. We went into Project Mayhem. Once yeah, Project Mayhem occurred, true. Fight Club, Fight Club is, is null and void. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Fight Club was Holy recruitment. Holy shit! Wow. I have never even thought about that. When I love Project that movie. Mayhem. I have, yeah, I've never even thought about No, we've hit the next yeah. phase of Project Mayhem. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So Fight Club is able to be talked yeah, about. Yeah, now. Fight Club was for recruiting. Yeah, Fight Club is now... Null and void. What they did was bring you, bring you in, and fucking brainwash you, fucking suck you, beat you the fuck down, and harden you the fuck up to make you realize that you were not fucking important, you were not special. Be a cog in this machine and be part of something great. Yep. They gave them purpose. They gave these fucking lost ass fucking men purpose. Guys that were bringing you are you your blowing salad his in mind right. Like, salad I've in your soup. These I've read uh, the book too. Like bring your like, salad in your soup to your fucking table while you're fucking sitting there reading the fucking Wall Street Journal and paying with a, a platinum visa. They're like, fuck these people, and they just go terrorist on all of them. Dumping fucking seed on the car so all these birds shit all over them. 
fucking with motor oil as fertilizer billboards and <laughs> giving people shitty advice like PSAs like that you can fucking use old motor oil reversing, as fertilizer reversing the severe tire damage parking garage entrances and shit yeah, just craziness and then they were gonna zero everybody out and start everybody out f- from even again that's what all those explosions were for because yep. they were destroying all the credit card company buildings yeah so yeah I was thinking, like, that's kind of like what the army says it'll do for you, but I'd rather be a part of Fight Club than the army. Uh, well, they well, that's they, just it. You have to go it's, through. You had to go through it to get into the in, into the house, yeah. right? And they started setting that shit. He was setting that shit up in all the cities across the country. All those explosions went off. Yeah, before you could even get time. in the house, they want to see how committed you are to getting into the that, house. He set that up. He set that up in the town that they were in originally, and then he just started going everywhere once he got corporate sponsorship. Yep. <laughs> he was flying everywhere. Fucking A. And blew up all the credit card buildings across the fucking country, maybe even the world. Who knows how long it really went on for. That's fucking amazing. Fight Club. What? I gotta watch that movie again. That it's one of the best movies of all time. And then that time. pussy kills Tyler Durden. Edward Norton. When he realizes, yeah, he realizes who's in control. Well, I'm not calling Edward Norton a pussy. Oh, his that's character. character. Yeah. yeah. Tyler was the best thing that ever happened to him. Yeah. He was, he was Jack's regret, though, for sure. He was everything that he was everything that he wasn't. He was the he was the lost guy. I fucking love that movie. I, I would love it. to have more of a backstory on him <clears throat> to find out what caused that fragmental snap. split in his brain like what what cause that coming home to that that, fire he set the fire he was already crazy you didn't know that you're right I just I don't know yeah dude Tyler set the fire Uh, he did it for the insurance money right right what was the thing that caused it though that's what I'm trying to think. And you know what I love about Chuck Palahniuk? He's my favorite author, by the way. What I love about him most of all is what people do for money in oh, his yeah. books and his novels. And all of his novels. Choke, Haunted, I'm fucking Survivor. And all, all Choke's this. a great movie, too. Yes. It's got Sam, my favorite. Sam, Sam Rockwell. Sam Rockwell. My favorite dude. When he's talking to Cherry about her cancer spot. <laughs> freaks her out. Oh, That's so great. I love that, that, that scene in that book. It was really good. Haunted is fucked up. It's so fucked up. I'm looking at the dude. I'm going to read me a book. Read a bunch of them. Yeah. Why not? And do some vape. Huh? Or not. Do what you got to do. I know what you they... You do you. Come on. Not get a memo about Villain Club. Not get that. <laughs> it was intuition, man. You don't talk about Villain Club. <laughs> we don't talk about it. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's like a bad Skeletor. <laughs> Mad Dur Skeletor. <sighs> hey, man. I look like Skeletor, huh, motherfucker? <laughs> 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 All, right. All right. No, no, not that Skeletor. Matter Skeletor. Okay. Yeah. I get it. Matter Skeletor. <laughs> Matter Tor. <laughs> Matter <What> Dor. <laughs> Wasn't that Tito Santana? Yeah. yeah. El Metador. Yep. Hit you look at that chihuahua on his head. Oh, look, there's his sister, the Utteriba McIntyre. <laughs> Bobby Eaton was so fucking great. He was greatness. <sighs> so funny. Uh, well, I think we've hit the end of this journey. Yeah, about today. two hours. Yeah? Do it today, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two hours. Good, good job, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Only one pee break. Yeah. Look hey, at you. I'm a big one. kid now. <laughs> I'm not wearing a diaper anymore. <laughs> I'm going to go take pee breaks that's, when I got to pee. That's why, that's why they <laughs> said I'm not a big kid now. You guys don't drink that much water. I've already had a bunch of water before I even came in here. And Me I too. I got this. Good. 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 Fuck out. Water is life. It's like Chipotle. He man. <laughs> yeah. Ah, see, what is that? What the, the gangster? That's not that's Al Capone. Al Capone, that's not yeah, Al Capone. That's Skeletor being it's, a twenties gangster. <laughs> ah, 
Hey man, what do you think this is? Ah. <laughs> I guess. It was, All right. It was funny. Well, this is getting creepy. I know. <laughs> this is the Bulldog Unchained podcast. I am your host, the King of Villains, Bulldog Malenko, along with Dirt Nap Dave. I am out. And Nubsy Slow. <laughs> boy, boy. And we Was that a be- question? <laughs> <laughs> Is it your boy boy? Is it? It's your boy boy. I told you not to put a question mark at the end of the sentence. He breathes everything on the property. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be back next week. Stay classy. Bye.